Good morning to everybody. My name is Cameron, and my camera has not been adjusted since yesterday. I am not on the ball this morning. Not on the ball, not on a cube, not on the rectangular prism. It's just that kind of day. I don't even have my accessories on. Goodness gracious, I am not prepared for this. Just kidding. I'm prepared for this. I got my coffee. I got my melons. I've got my Genshin. It's already updated. I can let you wait through all of that. I'm gonna get straight into the action. How is everybody? I'm doing rather well. I gotta admit, I could be better. My face hurts a little bit. I always have problems shaving the little mustache area. I gotta get my baby face. I need my baby face. My baby face can't have no facial hair on it. Uh, but that's all I can really do. So, uh, 1.5 update is out. I think it came out on yesterday. I was gonna say it came out on Wednesday, but today is Wednesday. Excuse me, today is Wednesday. Um,. I don't know what this does for me. I have quests apparently to do, so I'm gonna do that. Do I have any main quests to do? I have mail. Did Paimon send me something? Oh, you sent me some Primo gems. Maintenance. Oh, that was for the maintenance and compensation for it. The Adventurers Guild has issued an invitation for their promotion to the stars once more. Cool. Yeah, I'll do the event. Let's first claim all that stuff and then get right into it. Bye. And then, uh, yeah, I want to click there to go to the event. What do I do? Click. Open link. Oh, it's opening up Google Chrome. Hello. Hi, Google Chrome. I didn't mean for you to open up. Um. All right. Hi, Google Chrome. The stars once more. Open event. You know what? Whatever. Let let's see what this has to do with things. Window captured. Is that Google Chrome? Google Chrome. Nope, that's the wrong one. Uh, window. Window, window, window. Not media. Uh, Google Chrome. Google Chrome. Google Chrome. There we go. Alright, let's see what let's see what we got going on in the Google Chrome area. To the stars once more. That's my UID if you want to add me as a friend, I guess. Invite friends. Here. There's my invitation code. Use it if you wanna. I guess. What what else do we do? Is is that it? Is it what else what else do we do here? My rewards? Do I have rewards? I, I don't know. That doesn't do anything. Event rules. World. Oh, that's the language. Get gift voucher. Yeah. Go. Oh, share it? It's gonna ask me to share? Oh, well, I, I don't wanna. Claim? Now I'm gonna have to. Oh, I did it. Alright. Incomplete. Successfully invited. Oh, it's with the invite code. Interesting. Can I get another gift voucher? No? Okay, it's just more. That's the gift draw. I don't have. Gift voucher. Can I can I click these? Nope, I don't. Uh. So if you wanna, that's my code. All right. Okay then. Anyway, we're, we're gonna we're gonna go back to it then. We go back to it. Go back to game capture. There we go. <laughs> we're back to Genshin. <laughs> I didn't realize I was just gonna open up a link in my browser, but there we go. You know what? Things happen impromptu on this stream sometimes. Whoa! What is this? That's my archive. Just trying to look at my achievementos. mentos. My achieved mentos. What mentos have I achieved? Clearly, the icy ones. Make a weapon from a dragon's remains. Cool. Raise the frost brain tree to level 12. Is that the only thing left I have to do with there? Yeah, I guess. Awesome. I'm almost, I guess, done with Dragon Spire. That was pretty cool. I really like Dragon Spire. Dragon Spire. Spine! Spine! Spine of the dragon! There's literally a dragon spine in the mountain. Why can't I get that through my thick the skull of mine? Oh, goodness. It's okay. It's okay. We will recover from this. Um, head to the secret chambers for journals. Is that what I need to do? What are my other quests? Are there world quests I can do right now? No, still locked out from that. So, uh, looks like there's a bunch of other things. And all, let's work on the Work on the daily quests, and then, and then we'll just see what we do from there. I'd say that what I'm attempting to do is celebrating version 1.5 coming out, because there's always a reason to celebrate, and today's reason to celebrate is version 1.5 coming out. But I don't think I've had enough adventure rank to be able to take advantage of the benefits of version 1.5, so... Hmm. Whatever. I just noticed that is 
a very... Why is that red over there? That shrine is red. That's not red. It's not red on my map. Why is it red over here? Let's investigate. I'm curious. And then I'll head towards the actual goal of what I need to accomplish today. Need to accomplish. There's no need to do anything, really. Alan! Alan! Buddy! Stop getting yourself messed up with them hurlature rules. Keep on doing shit like that. We're gonna keep on... Keep on. I'm gonna have to start charging you for this, man. <laughs> anyway. Could you imagine if these healer trolls just beat Alan to death? We'll never have to worry about him again. But alas, we're heroes. We can't let him die like that. That would just be mean. It'd be rude. That wouldn't be very good Samaritan of us. It wouldn't be very cash money of us if we just let Alan die. I mean, he keeps putting himself into this thing again. It's like the boy who cried Hillichurl, like, Oh, there's Hillichurls, Hillichurls. There's no Hillichurls. There are Hillichurls, but there's always Hillichurls. How do you not know this? There's always Hillichurls. So why don't you know about them? Why don't you know not to go near them, Alan? Get with the program, Alan! Anyway. What do you got for me? Give me your money. You have to pay for this. Thank you, Traveler, you saved me. I never expected there'd be monsters here. I'm just lucky to have run into you. Please take these for your trouble. What do I get? Mushrooms? Companionship. Mora. Enhancement ore. Lovely. Oh, the thing is not red anymore. Now it's blue. Oh, maybe that was just a visual glitch. Oh, well. Hi, squirrel. Squirrel? Squirrel. Die, squirrel. I want your meat. Give me your meat. See, meat comes in various different forms. It could be squirrel meat. It could be boar meat. It could be anything you want. It could be whatever the hell this thing is. Because it also drops meat. I didn't even know what that was. But that's meat. That's meat, baby. Whatever kind of meat you want. Whatever kind of meat you need. Here, more meat? Yeah. Whatever you are. I don't know what you are. But apparently fowl is the meat that comes from any bird. Any bird can be foul. Any murder can be foul, too. Quack. But, um... If it comes from anything other than a bird, it's just meat meat. Oh, but then... Oh, lest I forget, ham is a particular kind of meat in this game. There is meat, fowl, and ham specifically, which must come from, like, a pig. But not the boars you find in the wild. That's the wrong kind of pig. That doesn't... They don't drop hams. The chilled ones, the chilled meat, the, the icy creatures of dragon spine, not spire. I keep getting myself mixed up. But uh, they drop chilled meat. Nondescript meat. Meat, just like everything else from their uh, other not so else evolved companions, the boars of the wild. So many different types of meat. But you know what kind of meat this game doesn't have? Salami. And that's sad. The world needs more salami in this. The world needs more salami. Hey there. What are you cooking? I should cook some things. I think I got new recipes. I probably got some new recipes. And new recipes. Mint jelly. Is there anything that I'm not already proficient in? Oh, ho Cream stew. Made with meat, cream, and... Whatever that is. It's a plant. Let's go to Barbara. Barbara, make a special dish. Perfect. Thank you, Barbara. Oh. Reminds me of the recipes that I would make. Actually, you know what this more reminds me of? I, I, I could say it reminds me of me actually cooking, but me cooking basically is either follow the instructions that were given to me by my fiancé, thank you, Anna, or following the instructions on whatever box I've been given, either by my fiancé, thank you, Anna, or that I purchased at the store. What this reminds me more of was just mixing random shit together as a young boy. Either putting a bunch of random objects in water and freezing them, or mixing literally every single shampoo, conditioner, and exfoliant in the bathroom shower. Only to be like, mm, that smells weird, and dump it out. That was that was me when I was a young, young lad. It still is me now, except instead of shampoos, conditioners, and other exfoliants, it's various types of liquors, reagents, and mixers, which uh, I very much enjoy. And usually they taste or smell pretty good.
I need... I need healing items. This is 8 to 10% of max HP. That's pretty good. I like that. And I have a shit ton of mint. This also works, but I don't have a lot of radishes. This could work, but I don't have enough meat. And that's an egg, and that's for healing purposes. And I think I already have enough healing things. So let's make, make a ton of these. Let's auto cook. I don't know. How many can I make? Let's go with 20 of them. All I need is more sugar, and I can just make more sugar. A bonus two? Thank you, Barbara. You are much appreciated. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Got plenty of sweet flowers, so... I want sweet flowers. Just kidding, I want sugar. I should just buy sugar. Why don't I have sugar already? Make cheese? Got plenty of milk. No! I want to make cheese. I want to make the cheese. I don't have... I have 36 cheese. Must have more cheese. Must have more cheese. Oh, look! And my other ham is done. So, uh, perfect. I'll obtain them. Yeah. That's my, that's my ham now. Ham! Fowl. Other meat. Oh, that's apparently bacon as well, which is made from not ham or anything. You can make... It's bacon, pork, maybe. But, um, yeah. From just meat in general. I can make raw meat. Well, that makes sense. Excuse me a moment. I think there's somebody at the door. Weird. That was interesting. Yeah, uh, I got an Amazon package delivered, and uh, that's the first time they've ever actually rung my door before just dropping it off inside. Very kind of them. I don't think they've ever asked before. It was very nice of them. Needs more cream. Which means I need more milk. Which means I need to buy more milk. I need to buy more milk from the store. More milk. Mmm, tasty. And let's make butter. There we go. Can I make flour? I have no flour, so let's make flour. Let's make a bunch of flour. Six fifty flour. I could just enter the name number, but that's not fun. Okay, they're calling again. Please excuse me. That guy was so cute. He called back again to make sure that I was the right apartment number. <laughs> I love that. I love that. That's the first time anybody's actually done that. Actually called and been like, hey, just making sure this is the right place, right? That was very kind of them. Man, I can't wait to go pick up that package. Which is now sitting downstairs on the table because I was told that's where it was. What I actually ordered was a USB hub. Because I realized this... My streaming computer over here only has three USB ports, and that is enough for these headphones, the microphone, and the camera. And that's it. That's all it's good for. If I want to add anything more to that, I can't use it. So I bought myself a powered USB hub so the computer doesn't have to work as hard on it. Um, and it's going to be used for any other things that I may need to plug into the, the computer. For example, like another camera, if I needed to. Uh, if... Anybody's ever watched the Valhalla streams that I do, I'll switch to like a little bar setup. And I have two cameras set up for that, and previously I'd have to unplug one and plug in the other, which is really annoying. And I have to activate and reactivate things in OBS and move the microphone around. It's just, it's just annoying. I'm going to try to do something like that again tonight. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm going to do a just chatting stream tonight where I make cocktails. It's no, ga no game. Just, just chatting about it. Because, uh... Yeah, I just, I, I want to make some cocktails. What I wind up doing anyway is I just, I'll, I'll look through my stuff and uh, it's fun. Hello, Poncho Puppy. How are you doing this fine, wonderful morning? If it's morning over there, I'm not so sure. But uh, yeah, later on, it'll be fun. It's just me making cocktails. Because what I do anyway is I look through my cocktail books. I got like four of them and I'm like, oh, I don't know what to make. And uh, I don't know. I'll just go through it. And it'll be a fun time. Just chill. Just chilling out. It'll be good. I think it'll be a fun time. And uh, maybe I'll make a, uh, I'll drink a couple of those drinks. So if you're into watching somebody potentially get more and more less about them, which may happen. I'm usually pretty good on that stuff, but, you know, it'll be fun. I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be enjoyable for everybody involved, including myself. <laughs> you just woke up. My goodness. 
Well, I'm not sure what time it is over here, but it's 10.30 over here, so that, you know, that's a, that's a good time to wake up. That is a very good time to wake up, I think. So long as you got yourself some rest. How many hours of sleep did you get? Not that it matters. Uh, what is it? Doctors say you should be getting eight hours of sleep. Well, guess what? Sometimes I get three hours of sleep, and I wake up feeling just fine. Sometimes I get eight hours of sleep, and I am tired as hell in the morning. Sometimes I sleep for 14 hours, and I still wake up feeling like I could have slept more. So, uh, doctors got it all wrong. I don't know. I don't like to fight with the professionals, but... I don't know. Science is supposed to be consistent, right? You're supposed to be able to, to replicate the results. That's not very replicatable. Not a... I don't know, doctor. I don't know, doc. Sl solve my sleep issues. Solve my sleep issues. I'll swirl you. Yeah, let's get you all swirled. And, uh, more of this stabby stab. More stabby stab. More, more stabby stab. Oh, yes. A damaged mask. And I'm gonna... Oh, investigate over here. Investigate. The place is a... Any more things to... Oh, I got some slimies over there. I'm very dehydrated. Let me... Take a drink of that. I'll put that over here. So it's a little, little more accessible for me. A note! Tea shop closed due to the off-season. This is a tea shop, and yet you have, let's see, tomatoes, potatoes, mushrooms, pumpkins, and cabbages. Now, I, I believe pumpkin tea might be a thing. I believe tomato tea, maybe. Perhaps even potato tea. Maybe even mushroom tea, I get that. But cabbage tea? If you need to come see me, come to Liwa. Tea Master Liu Su. Cool. Ooh, a chest. <laughs> well, at least you got those eight hours. You know, it gave you enough, just enough time to get into that, like, that REM area of sleep. The, your random eye movement where your body can dream. I dreamt a lot last night. You know what was weird? What I dreamt about last night was constantly waking up in the middle of the night. And I'm not sure if I was actually waking up or if I was just dreaming that. That and, I, I don't know, I, I dreamed about something else too. But those details escaped me. But uh, I definitely remember dreaming about waking up in the middle of the night, which may not have even been a dream. I don't remember. I just remember being very, very hot last night and pretty much throwing all the blankets off of me, being like, I don't want this. No, no blankets tonight. No blankets tonight. I'm not usually that hot when I sleep. Temperature-wise. Temperature-wise. Not usually that hot in general. Any-wise, really. <laughs> but, uh, I woke up feeling just fine. Actually, I was a little groggy. I, uh, I wound up snoozing my alarm twice. It's weird. If I snooze, I have a Google phone, and if I snooze that alarm, it waits 15 minutes. But I don't want to snooze for 15. I want to snooze for 5. Because if I snooze that bad boy four times, that's an hour gone by. But if I do five minutes, that's only, like, 20 minutes. That's not too bad. But I feel like there's a way to configure that, and I just don't know how to do it just yet. Dreams can be very confusing. I had somebody I had somebody on stream a couple of weeks ago who was attempting to interpret some dreams that I was having. And to be perfectly honest, I don't remember what those dreams were. Um, but they seem to make sense for the way... It, I don't even know what the dreams were. The dreams didn't make sense themselves, but the interpretations of the dreams seemed appropriate. I understand there's probably meaning meaning behind our dreams and whatnot, but I certainly have no level of authority to say, oh, but this dream definitely meant this. But I can I can make some assumptions, surmise some things. Hey, Greg, you want to grab a drink or two? No, I want to fight you because I think who are you? The feeling is mutual. You're gonna you're gonna spring jump me, right? Whatever. Oh, you're gonna. Oh, I thought you were gonna fight me. I got a good bottle of moonshine here. You interested? Okay, you just said moonshine, and now you're talking about wine. The two. I believe are mutually exclusive, but uh, whatever. Let's fire y'all up. That's confusing. That's very confusing. But uh, whatever. Whatever. I've had good moonshine. I've had good wine too. The good wine is pretty expensive though. The good moonshine, eh, not really. You get a lot of that stuff. Very high potency. There's, I've mentioned. Oh, excuse me. I've mentioned before that my family and I usually go on a trip every single year to a place called Hilton Head Island. In the beautiful state of South Carolina, United States of America. And off of that island is another island called Dufusky Island, which I think is one of the funniest names I've ever heard for an island. Like, you know, like, 
the da fuck da fusky what, what the fusky i think it's a really funny name but i digress on that island they apparently were they were like um they were shippers and whatnot so they would do like cargo ships and stuff like that to bring them into america and oftentimes what they would import or export would be this uh scrap metal that they would have and scrap metal as in like you know rusted pieces of metal or metal that were part of ships or other metal things metal it's it's scrap metal that's exactly what it is and what they would essentially do is they also had a side business of uh peddling moonshine which of course in that particular era it might have been prohibition everybody's peddling moonshine if anybody can get their hands on the alcohol they most certainly will and so what they would do is they would hide the moonshine inside of the barrels that they would store the scrap metal in or the scrap iron and so they named their moonshine scrap iron and um this was a few years ago so i'm not going to pretend to say what i imbibed was legal back then it was not but i recall it tasting quite nice apparently we used to be able to buy bottles of it and take it off the island with us but somebody apparently found out about it and they were just like yeah you can't do that so stop doing that so now you can only get a try of it if you go to the island which i haven't been in three to four years which um yeah like i said not entirely legal at the time but i learned my lesson i'm older now i'm more mature than i was before you know learned my lesson but uh that's cool and then i got another uh, another buddy of mine twitch.tv slash lycos underscore lore i love that bro he's going through a bit of tough time with school right now i feel for him i know exactly what he feels but uh his mom would go down to other I don't know exactly where she would get them from. I want to say it was a different area of South Carolina. And there's this company who does, like, particular, like, flavored moonshines and whatnot. And they're really, they're, like, they're, like, flavored moonshines and whatnot. I don't know if they use, I don't think it's, any, like, natural flavoring or anything like that. But, you know, when you want something that tastes like, oh, let me give you an example. One of the moonshines is peanut butter and jelly moonshine. And you would breathe in, or I, I might be getting this mixed up, but you breathe in, and you would taste the peanut butter. You breathe out. You would taste the jelly. It was really, really cool. And I think they had a similar one as well that was apple cobbler or something like that. I don't really know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Poncho, take as much time as you need. Don't worry about it. Lurk if you want to. I lurk all the time. I have, um, I have a great, great appreciation for lurkers because I am also a lurker. I don't... I am usually not the kind of person to speak up in a chat room or in a discord or in a group chat unless i am spoken to or specifically called out it may seem contrary to the personality that i put up on screen but i assure you this is this is mostly how i do behind uh, when the camera is not on for the most part though that's been changing I i'd like to admit that i'm getting a little bit better on that because there was always a part of me who was just like i should really speak more in these chats and i had that inner drive to do so so you know slowly but surely i uh i guess i adjusted myself so that um so that I could emulate the person that I wanted to be. And the person I wanted to be was vocal, not only IRL, but vocal also in the chat rooms as well. And I think I'm getting better with that. And, uh, you know, personal improvement. Personal development. Raw meat from a random creature. It's how we do. It's how we do. Um, 770 meters away from Leyline Monolith. Zhang Li, you hate the rain? I don't think I've ever heard a character make comments about the weather. That's cool. Maybe that's new. I don't know. Maybe it's not new. Maybe I'm just noticing it for the first time. Hi, bird. Foul. Wait, what was... Oh, this is the spear. I forgot. This is the spear that I got from uh, the Dragon Spine quest. So it has a chance of dropping an icicle on the enemy in front of me. Like, that's so cool. I really like that. I think... um, Is it... Beto? Beto may have the sword that does something similar, but it drops, like, flaming rocks instead. Sad, so you, did you see that? Did you see that ice crystal? That's cool. I like that. I really like that. That's really cool. Uh, let's do that. Oh, who's shooting at me? Fire, no! Fire, fire, bad. What are you doing? What are you doing over there? You suck. Let's see if this is the right one. Is this the sword I'm thinking of? Let's see. Any fire? Any fire? I haven't seen any fire just yet. Oh, well, probably not. 
Wapow! Overload you. Hi, Noel. Important message? Do I have an important message? Birchwood? Birchwood! That's new! You can get wood now? Oh, baby. Now I can obtain wood! Something that I apparently was not able to do before in this game. Really? That's cool. Can I, like... Oh, I didn't want to do that. The last year we are. Can I just... Look at that. There's wood coming off the tree. Huha wood. Hey, look at that. I can collect wood now. Now I can bash trees for a reason and not just because I want to. But some would say that's reason enough. Well, there's birch tree. Well, there's birch wood. That's cool. So wait, what was that important message now? Uh, collecting wood. Yeah, look at that. A tall tree, birch, a tall tree that originates in the far north, but which has since spread all over Tevat. It produces a great many branches and is a key wood resource throughout the various nations. Birches are a common sight in the Windwell Highlands, but cut down a bir cut a birch down to obtain birch wood. A Quihua tree, a tree from which fruit hangs heavy. They say that some lush trees had fruits and cores, which both had the color of sunset, hence earning them the moniker of Quihua tree. Quihua trees are oft found in Starfell Valley and Bishwi Plain. Cut a Quihua tree, Qui tree down to obtain Quihua wood. Pine, a majestic tree with needle-like leaves which can live for up to a thousand years. Their sturdy forms can be found all over the continent, their winter withstanding bones still standing strong in warmer lands. This has earned them the nickname of Winter Pines. These trees are endemic to the Dragon Spine region. Cut a pine down to obtain pine wood. Sandbarrow tree, um, and... Uh, I used to remember this. Chinksei, Chinksei, Chinksei bamboo, cedar trees, and Faber's furs. I don't believe that there is a need to go through and read everything else. Not unless the narration is pleasing. If the narration is pleasing and not yet annoying, I'll keep going. I'll read some more about trees. You want to know more about trees? I'll tell you about trees. I'll tell you more about trees. But, uh, continue on to the daily commissions for now. That's interesting. Only one of those lamp grasses were out. Oh, hi there, you. Aww. Whopper flower. Give it a little bit of the flames. Bit of the fire and the flames. Then we'll do that. We'll just, just take care of you. Jungling can take care of you. Easy. Where'd you go? Oh, don't run from me. Don't you run from me. Don't you run from me. There's no need to run from me. Why would you run from me? It's not like I'm destroying you or anything like that. Certainly not. Why would you run from somebody who wishes for your inner destruction and your outer destruction? I don't know. Go ahead. Keep going with that. Oh, hello there, Hilo Trail. You've come to join the battle. Well, I've got a piece for you, too. Here you go. Here's a piece. Piece is this club. Debate club. That was fun. Oh, that was entertaining. Oh, there's more of them. We could do this all day, pal. Oh, but you got the fire. Fire, fire, dude. We'll take care of fire, fire, dude, first. Oh, come on now, Noel. Don't, don't be wanting up doing that. Oh, we got, uh, oh, look at that. Cyclones, too. Oh, that's fun. Whoopow! Smack, smack, smack your sword. Smack sword, or smack a sword, and smack and sword, and smack and sword. Stop. No, wind, no. Oh, I'm so afraid of the wind. Don't hurt me, wind. Stab. What will I do now that you've gotten me with the spoon? I don't know why I said spoon there, but the word popped into my mouth and we're just gonna go with it. Don't hit me with your spoon. I do not want a piece of that spoon. There's another one. Why? Don't spoon me like this. I'll fork ya. Cause we're, we're going with utensils here, so we'll st we'll stick with utensils. I'm gonna I'm gonna fork you, then I'm gonna knife you, then I'm gonna spork you, then I'm gonna knorf you. Sir, are you okay? All right, you just needed time to fade away. Interesting. When life won't let you fall to the ground, what do you do? Poof. Fade away. I guess I'm down with that. <laughs> Very interesting. Oh, there's more of you, but you're all fire, fire, fiery, which means I can do this. Oh, and apparently explode some barrels. <laughs> That's always fun. And we always enjoy that. We always like to see explodey things. Oh, you're healing. 
You are healing. I don't like that. I don't like it when you heal. Do that. Now burn! Everybody burns sometimes! Including, including these ones. Ooh, radishes! Ooh, scrolls! Mmm, radishes! Is there something to break? What do we got? White iron chunk! Keep your eyes on me, baby. Beto, 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 beto. Mm, collect some of these rocks. An apple, a fowl. Take care of you. And I know there's at least another one up there somewhere. There must be. Oh, there's a chest up there. Who knew? I didn't know. Not until now. Oh, you're gonna explode. I don't like the explodey bits. Hey, there's a chest up there. Hey. That's pretty good. Oh, there was another one. I knew it. Let's take care of you the easy way. This is what I would consider the easy way. Whack, 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 whack. Oh, you're... <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing there? <laughs> My butt can't make contact with the chest, so I must slide over it. Goodness gracious. That's funny. I enjoyed that. That gave me quite a bit of a chuckle. The world needs more chuckles. Hey, look! Another chest! Let's collect another one. Hi there, my name's Cameron, and I get easily distracted by literally anything, so... Oh, they're all elemental. There's a, there's an ice type, there's an electric, there's a... I mean, animo... Pyro... Cryo... Um, whatever electric is. I really don't know what electric is. Electro? It's probably electro. It's definitely electro. It's gotta be electro. If it's not electro, I'd be... I'd be surprised. I got you, and now I will get you... With the rest of my stamina. Now you're dead. Dink, 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 dink. Takes a sip of coffee. Takes a bite of melon. And we continue. Oh, look! There's a fire thing down there. There's another fire thing. Cool. Yeah, Electro feels right, wouldn't it? I feel like, it, I mean, cryo? Like, cryogenically frozen? Like, I get that. Oh, that that's lit up. Or, um, you know, pyro. Like, pyromaniac. That makes sense. Electro, like, electromagnetic. Well, hello there, dream flutists. I'm happy to, to, to see that you popped in. I hope you're doing wonderfully today, and good luck at work. I hope it's at least enjoyable and bearable. Some people's occupations are not very bearable, but I hope yours is. Oh, and it seems like my mother's popped in a chat again. Hi, RS Kel. That's my mom, and I'm proud to admit it. She pops in every once in a while. She's very supportive of what I do. It seems. Remember, if you haven't, if you have a mother out there, call her. Call her and say that you love her. Mother's Day is coming up. I think it is. I think Mother's Day is coming up. And the only reason I know that is not because I remembered or anything. I guess there's too much, too many dates in my head to remember. Uh, but because I got an email about a Mother's Day special and I was like, oh, that must mean that Mother's Day is upon us. <laughs> Yeah, it won't be, unfortunately. Restaurant work is tough. You're totally right about that. I wish I had, like, the perspective to be able to, uh, uh, like, know what you're talking about. But I have yet to work in the service industry, so I've only heard the horror stories. But, you know, you'll make it out to the other... You will definitely make it out the other side. Perhaps even stronger than where... than the way that you went in. So, my fingers are crossed for you. I hope it goes... okay. Where's that other fire thing? Mother's Day, Mermaid, Mother's Birthday. Yes! Indeed, that'd be cool. That's awesome. And your Mother's Birthday, too. That's so cool. Oh, there's the chest. Nice, so I did it. Awesome. And I can fight these trees now. Look, look at this. I can hit trees now. Genshin Impact is basically Minecraft now. I mean, there's no, there's no question now. All right, well, I did that. Where are you? Where, are, where is the Abyss Mage? There's another chest? Why? It's cool. 
Happy early birthday to your mother, by the way. I was just thinking I should, I should say that. There's always a reason to celebrate. The reason to celebrate. Oh, it was a Sealy. Nice. There's always a reason to celebrate. And this celebration is for your mom. You know what? Let's, let's celebrate. Mother's Day is coming up. This is for all the mothers out there. This is for all the mothers and their birthdays. <sighs> this one's for all the mothers in the crowd. A purple balloon, because purple has a feminine connotation. Don't ask me why, but it just do. It's for all the, this is the Mother's Day balloon. Um, early Mother's Day balloon. Early Mom's Day. This is the early Mom's Day balloon. There we go. This is for all the mothers out there. It's not much, I know that. But uh, if you're a mother out there who has ever had like a drawing from your young child, uh, I hope this is similar, if not the same exact feeling, except I'm 23 and don't live with my parents, at least right now. So, there you go. Mothers deserve your love. Fathers deserve your love. Parents in general deserve your love. They work hard. I mean, unless they don't. I feel like I, I could I can feel like I'm speaking on behalf of all parents, but I'm not a parent by the way, but You know, I don't I don't know if all parents put in the same amount of effort My mom put in a lot of effort raising me Big old shout out to mama Calvo over there and papa Calv too. Yeah, did a pretty good job. So uh Balloons for you mom mother mama Robin. Her name is a bird. Did you know that? My, my mother's name is a bird. Beautiful, beautiful bird. Robin. You know, like Batman's sidekick, Robin. But, you know. Better, because she birthed me. That's more than Batman's sidekick ever did for me. Hi, hi to you, Arp Tekau. I hope I pronounced that right. Arp, I feel, is correct. If I am incorrect... Swiftly correct me. Otherwise, I will never know. That is my request to you. If I ever say anything that is out of line or just straight up incorrect, I request correction as well as the resource to tell me why I'm wrong in a scientific way if possible. If you give me like a New York Times article that says, hey, you're wrong for this reason without any sources, I'll let it happen. I'll let it happen, but I may not... My, my opinion may not change because of that. I won't be as well persuaded. But, uh, ARP if needed. ARP to cow. I don't know, I like... One syllable just seems too... One till syllable too short. You're too important a person for me to just dawn on you only a single syllable. I feel like you deserve more. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Technically, some people call me Cam. That's one syllable. I don't care if you use one syllable with me. If you want to use two syllables, you could do CJ or Cameron. If you want to make it fancy, three syllables, Cameron. Which I don't think anybody's ever called me that specifically, except in an ironic context. But yeah, I'm doing really well and game is going rather well as well. I think I'm excited that the new update came out. Apparently I can mine trees now. That's pretty cool. Didn't know that I could do that. I whacked a tree, and wood came out. That's pretty cool. Um, in addition to that, it's been an okay day so far. Uh, I, I, this day started like uh, many other days do. I woke up. I took my shower. I shaved my face. It hurt, shaving my face. I've been trying to figure out how to shave properly my mustache area. I do not like my mustache area. I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like my mustache area anywhere. That was a little involved. I apologize for that, but it's crazy. Oh, and the housing system too. You're totally right. You're totally right. That was it. My uh, my buddy uh, my buddy Final Rhapsody was he was like the housing the housing is going to be the thing, and I completely forgot about that somehow. Impregnable defense. Yeah, let's do that. People call Poncho Puppy Pawn or Pon Pon. Well, I'll call you Pawn if that's your preference, or Pon Pon if that's your preference. Here, at the party, because we got a party shtick going on here, if you want to be called- I'll call you by whatever name you want to be called by. 
That's just how we do. You want to be called Jackson? I'll call you Jackson. Hopefully I remember. If your username doesn't reflect the name that you want to be called, then, well, I got a question why you picked that username anyway, but I will try my best to remember. There is... There's a good number of people. I like to I like to think about, you know, teachers in classes who memorize all of their students' names and whatnot, and... God! For some of the lecture classes I've taken, if a teacher were ever able to remember the names of, let's say, 150-plus kids that they will probably never see again, kudos for them. That's awesome. Oh, I was supposed to be protecting this thing. Yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Let's protect this thing. Whack, whack, whackity, whack, 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 whackity, whack. Got you. What else do we got? Oh, there's more of you. I'll just wait. I'll wait. Actually, I won't wait. Okay, well, I didn't want to do it that way, but maybe waiting would have been a good idea. Hm. Am I gonna pull for anything in particular? Not really. I just kinda I just kinda go for go with the flow with whatever happens to be available. If I happen to be on like during a particular event, like I'll I'll grab it. Um let's see what are the current witches right now? It'd be cool to get uh Zhong Li. He's pretty cool. He's pretty dope. I did uh, one of his I did his quest recently where you first meet him. I like this character. A little I'm a little not trusting of him, but that mysteriousness that gets me. I like that. But uh, it'd be cool to get that. It'd be cool to, cool to get Zhang Li. But if I don't, then whatever. I'll try my best this, though. I usually don't play. I'd play, like, maybe, like, once a week. Maybe. A little bit more on the side. If I feel so inclined to do so. Wonderful, wonderful. Where, where are the other ones? Where's the next one? Where's the ne Where are you? There you are. There you are. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I will... I will do my best to refer to you, Le Pancho Puppy, as Pawn. Because that is easy. That is that is very easy. It is only a single syllable, so if I ever feel to be in a non-single syllable mood, you'll be getting Pawn Pawn from me. Or maybe Pawn Pawn Pawn, but three syllables might be pushing things. I know I know we basically just met the other day, and I wouldn't want to be too forward with my uh, with my syllables. That's just awkward. That'd be awkward for everybody involved. Wouldn't bother me too. It's like it's like somebody meeting me for the first time, and then like the second time they see me, I'm like, "Yo, Cameroonie Bobini Banana Nana Bofuni, how's it going?" And I'd be like, "What?" That's not anywhere close to the name my parents gave me anymore. That's just different. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, you got Zhongli from a single pull? Dude, that's so cool. I am, um, during the Windbloom Festival event, I got, um, let's see, I got, dude, stop! I got Venti from my first pull, and I also got Razor in that same, um, 10 wish span too, and I was like, what? How can I be this lucky? Uh, it was it was pretty cool. Not trying to get him that, but eh, you know, go with the flow, go with the flow. That is pretty cool, though. I mean, I understand some people go for the particular characters. I, I'd say there's a certain collection aspect to this game that I absolutely and totally enthralled in. Just the idea of being able to like collect them all. That's why I like Pokemon. Pokemon's awesome. Haven't played it a lot least recently, but that can change. Um, but that was. To be able to, the idea to be able to collect them all has always been so entertaining to me. And I like that. I like the thing. Trying to get a new fire girl. Which one's that? <coughs> Let's check that, actually. I don't even know what the wishes are right now. Let me check. Oh, you in the back! Uh, fire dancer. I think she dances. I think she's a dancer. Yeah. Can I open up the details? Usually, this doesn't like to show me the details. Oh, it did. <coughs> Yanfei. That's so cool. Percentage of four star, 50%. <coughs> I got a tickle in my throat. Excuse me for a moment. <clears throat> wow, that was annoying. Anyway. Oh, can I get out of this? Oh, I have to use my mouse now. Do 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 Plenty of things, plenty of things. Well, now it was all on the screen for y'all to peruse later. I got quite a bit of Primo gems right now. Mm, you know what? Do I have any fate right now? No, no, I didn't want a camera. Nope, I was definitely not attempting to click the camera button. I don't have any fate right now. 
Doing 10 wishes would be 1600. So I'll, I'll wait to the end. I'll probably get more Primo gems by the end of this adventure today. So I'll wait on that and I'll do some polls and it'll be great and wonderful. Let's go over to here now. One small step for Hillichurros. Hey, look at that. And uh, my fiance says to do some exercise. We're going to do some LED1 flexions. Don't ask me what that means. I think that's this one. It's a PNF. What? What's a PNF? Uh, I don't know what that means. Is... Basically, I'm going to go on top of my leg and do this a couple times. I'm a ballerina. That is not how that works. I am a ballerina. Primarina ballerina. Okay. I know my foot's supposed to touch the ground. I'm aware of that. My fiance coaches me. She's a physic. She's studying to be a physical therapist. So uh, this is what we do around here. I apologize for the awkward camera angle, but now you can see my ducky shirt. This is my ducky shirt. I love my ducky shirt. I got it at a, ha at a hackathon, and I couldn't be any happier. Funny story about that hackathon and this <clears throat> this ducky shirt. I received a survey from the hackathon company about a year after that hackathon happened, and they asked me. One of they asked me a bunch of questions. It was rather annoying, but one of those questions in particular was. Do you, did you receive any Capital One merchandise as a part of one of our hackathons? And I was like, yeah, I did receive Capital <laughs> One merchandise on behalf of one of your hackathons. And they were like, how often would you say that you wear your Capital One merchandise that you got from one of our hackathons? And I was like, boy, I wear my ducky shirt at least twice a week. Because I love this shirt so much. It's got a big old duck on it. What's not to like about it? Well, you, well you no, know, I mean, like, after the wash day. Wash day is on Thursday. I usually wear it once before wash day and then one once after wash day. And then wash day comes all over again. I guess it doesn't really work out that way. Maybe not, maybe not twice a week, but perhaps, like, three to four times a month. Let's go with that. Yeah, that, that sounds cool to you. Anna, dearest, can you do me a favor? What? My Amazon package was delivered. Can you go downstairs and you pick it up off the table? I could do it too if you don't want to. There's no problem there. Oh, right, because you're going off to class. Yeah. What class is it today? It's um. I know you took a test this morning. Yeah, that was. Which she claims she failed, but that remains to be seen. I think you did just fine. I think you're fine. I think you're wonderful. I yearn for your success. That's great. And um, the success of everybody. Yes, but I have realistic expectations. Realistic, yeah. Perhaps my encouraging is not quite realistic. Yeah, like, but, uh, okay. it's encouraged, but nonetheless. 87, 87 and a half hmm. to, like, pass if I did fail the test as badly as I think I did. Okay. That would be on the next exam, and that's if I get good scores on, like, my well, I think you can get good scores in your assignments. I've never heard you complain about the assignments in particular. Well, that's because I've only had one of them, and that would need to be in a group assignment on both cases, so... Group assignment, single assignment, assignment, assignment. You got this. Okay. Um, you got this. Yeah, this is my encouragement to you. Power in your general direction. The power of encouragement. This is why I can't ask to be acknowledged, because then you're just going to, like, do weird things like that. Acknowledgement is key. I yearn for acknowledgement. I love to be acknowledged. It's nice to know that people know that I'm here. It feels so good. Acknowledgement, a feeling unlike anything else. Do you have any idea where I put my wallet? I have no idea where your wallet is. Is it under this balloon? Nope, it is not under this balloon. I do not know where the wallet be. If you need help looking for it, let me know and I shall assist you. Oh, I need, I need fire arrow girl, ember. I don't particularly enjoy using Fire Arrow Girl, but we will use Fire Arrow Girl, because Fire Arrow Girl makes fire talisman shooty shoots like this easy and convenient. There's one. There's another. Third time's the charm. Hey, yo, we did. There's another? There's more? Oh, no. There's another. Oh, hey, yo. Number four. Numero cuatro. We did it. We did it, everyone. Woo! Party all the time. On behalf of Fire Arrow Girl, thanking audiences everywhere and reminding them, don't fly without a license. Thank you, Amber. And thank you for constantly reminding me.
that apparently flying over Le uh, Mondstadt is illegal. Without a license, that is. Driving without my license is also illegal. I always have my license on me. I always have my wallet on me. Apparently, some people don't really carry around their their uh, identifiable information with them. That seems different to me. Why, why wouldn't I? What if I just had a heart attack in the middle of the street? Like, I need somebody to be able to identify my body. And know, like, oh, pfft, some dude named Cameron? Well, I guess we should call his parents or something. Like, I feel like that's necessary. Plus, my license says that I'm an organ donor, so the world will know that I, that you can, yeah, these organs, I'm not using them anymore. Go ahead, take them. Oh, I found it, okay. So long as you preserve my body for whatever comes after the death part, like, if I have a funeral, I hope you don't. I don't want to look like I'm missing something on the inside, like, stuff me with, I don't know how they do that. I don't know if I want to think about that. I my body to science. Yeah. I don't know if I like thinking of the idea of my body being body being full of anything but organs. Hmm. Um, they embalm you so they take out your blood and shit. Ew, that's so disgusting! Embalming fluid? Oh. It's a natch. It's it happens. I want to be a mummy one day. No, you don't. Like I want to be. I I want to. I want to be wrapped in paper. I want to become a tree. And I wanna and I wanna be put in a giant pyramid with a golden capstone on top. And then and then tomb raiders will come by and try to steal all my belongings that at the time I believed would come with me to the world of the underworld after I die, but really it's there for anybody for the taking to, to have at it. You know? Yeah. My tomb will be filled with manga. And they'll be there like, We've heard the secret of Cameron's gold. And then they'll be like And then they'll be like they'll be like this isn't gold. This is... This is manga. But the... See, how do I do this? Do I just have to do it fast enough? I don't know how to do this puzzle. I know not how to do this puzzle. Can I put something on top of it? Can I drop something down? Maybe I can drop an item on top of it. Use a construct. Like... Like... Like from my main character over here? Because I tried that one time and it didn't... I'm gonna try it again. I don't know if that's considered a construct, though. Because that didn't work before. Or at least at a different one. So I do that, and then come over here and... Did it work? Hmm. Odd. Or maybe I have to keep it on top of it after... Yeah, I, I don't really know. I don't think... It, I think it just doesn't work with this particular ability. Unfortunately, I have- I figured that was the case, but I don't have any char other characters that can do stuff like that. I know, right? Like, I don't know. You know what? Maybe if I activate it first. Or maybe- I don't know. Both at the- nope. Okay, okay. Oh no, I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do this. Maybe- Hmm. Try it again. Her. <laughs> Why? What? Come on, puzzle. Yeah, whatever. I'll just mark this area as an area of interest to come back to later when I have the proper resources to do so. I don't think I have anybody else with constructs like that. That was not the map. I wanted the map. This is the map. I look at the map. Something of importance. Come back to it later. So long, construct of mine. Sweet construct of mine. There we go. Back to the preferred party. Grab some silk flowers. Will you come help me? Awesome. Yeah, I guess it's probably easier with two characters, or even three, or even four, that can all move on their own. I think there was another puzzle like that over in Dragonspine that I forgot to mark on my map, but I know there's one like that somewhere up there. And it was the same way. I was like, can I use my Geo Construct? Let me try it. Oh, that's not working. Sad boy. Sad boy time. That or I'll eventually get another Construct character. I don't... I mean, what other characters can create Constructs like that? Because I am unsure. Where at? I'm up currently with the, um, the, the, the hotel. Tree hotel. That's where I'm at right now. Zhongli and Albedo. 
Nice. Of course, there's another reason I want Albedo. Not just because he's cool and Geo main character. Yeah, but the, for some reason, I just I just tried the Geo main character on that and it was not working. It was weird. It was not working for me. Like, I tried the Geo construct right on top of it and right on the side and just nothing. So instead of stressing about it, I'll just continue on with my, my way, merry way. Continue to traipse along the plains of the West. And, um, defeat some hill churls. Yeah, hill churls. I'm gonna go with stuff like that. What a beautiful lantern. Oh, I remember being here. This is the mine area. Or something. Hey, y'all got chests. You know what's fun with chests? This stuff. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Suck them back in. Oh, that is so satisfying to watch. That was awesome. And we'll just finish them off. That was so cool. Love combos like that. Love me some combos like that. Oh, a reward for me? You shouldn't have. What do we got? Lucky Dog, Traveling Doctor, Adventure, Teachings of Prosperity. Where's the Teachings of Prosperity? Cool. I know not what the Teachings of Prosperity is. Is that a trinket item? I don't think I've ever read that to work at all. Headed off to work? Best of luck to you, soldier flutist. Your service is not unrecognized. I'll fix my posture. In memory of you and your service, I shall fix my posture. Not just because you have requested it, but because I totally would have done it anyway. I totally would have done it anyway. So yes, yes indeed. I am required to. So says... The almighty audience, who has ultimate control over everything and anything I do. Unless they abru abuse their privileges. I literally did it three times! You did it four times in a row. No, I did it three times. Don't add numbers. Four times in a row. I did it three times. I four times. Look back at the video. It, look back at the video. It was four times. Look back at the video. It's three times. Nope, it's four times. I'm telling you. Three times. I'm telling you. This is why, this is why the, you might not have noticed yet, but the channel point redemption of work your body has a limit of three per user per stream to prevent people like the one I live with from spamming me with it. I did it three times. Four times. I think it was four times. Oh my God. That's specifically why I said it the three. I'm I was like one last. I'm whole compilation of every time. You're going to do that? That yeah. you exercise. Well, that just means I don't have to put in the work for it. So thank you in advance. Yeah, yeah you got to get me the episode. Well, I mean, then you're gonna have to upload it to YouTube. Of course, I'll upload it to YouTube. A Cameron works out compilation. There's definitely been some finer moments there during the workouts, the wor the workout things, like like uh, me uh, whacking myself into the chair. I think things fell down. Things fell off my wall. It's it's a fun time. Things things happen around here. I can't I say don't like whether this chair. stupid chair. Yeah, Push. stupid chair. I threw it across oh, the room. That's what happened. I whacked my chair. It fell over. Or I, I whacked my chair. I pushed it. I pushed it over. It fell. I had to retrieve it. Ooh, that was powerful. Powerful, powerful, powerful. Anyway. And that's why I have stuff like that. It's not an interruption to the stream. It's an, in addition to whatever else is currently going on. And if it was really that annoying, I wouldn't even have it as a redeemable thing. It's required because you need the extra. Although, although, I have seriously been playing with the idea of adding things that I'm afraid of. Such that if somebody were to redeem this, I'd be like, oh no. No, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. I don't want you to. Please don't. I, I don't know like what yet. But uh, it's uh, it's on my list of ideas. I have a list of ideas, and it's a, it's a big list of ideas. And by e big merch? big list, I mean it's about ten items long so far. That's big. It's a lot of channel point redemptions. So what I plan on doing is I'm going to make a channel point redemption, a D100. There are a hundred different things that can happen, and when you spend your channel points, something good can happen for me or for you, something bad can happen for me or for you, something totally neutral could happen, like, I don't know, I put on glasses. I have glasses. I ring a bell. I have a bell. Where's my bell? Where's my bell? Where's my bell? I have a bell. I have a bell. 
girl. Like that'd be that'd be cute. Something like that. You know, feels yeah. feels pretty cute. Wait, wait, wait. Be fun. So you ring the bell. Yeah, I ring the bell and then backwards. What? No, I didn't ring the bell backwards. What are you talking? Because it goes this way. I just I didn't want it to make such a loud sound, so I held it by the bell. Why do you have a problem with everything I do? I just consume. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're good. No, consume. I had to consume. That's a concerning consume. Uh, all my consumes are concerning. Especially when drinks of a certain inebriatory category are involved. Uh, I do make cocktails on stream sometimes. This is why that there is a five minute cooldown for consume because yeah, that is too much power. Like crazy. That would be way too much power in the hands of y'all peoples out there. Don't get me wrong. Like I, I like to think that I can trust every single one of you, but... Hmm. Oh, that's coffee. I gotta make sure. Gotta make sure. Can't let you feel too powerful. Someone needs assistance. There's a pecking order here on this stream. Well, no, the viewers are number one. But then the law is above that. <laughs> Actually, there is a pecking order. The viewings, the viewers are on top of me, but on top of the viewers are Twitch's TOS. So. And then above that is like, I don't know, the government or something who makes the laws where the TOS has come from. So, I don't, I don't know. Do you believe in the government? I don't know. Perhaps this pecking order isn't in line with your opinions on the matter. If that's the case, then well, I can't stop you. Die. If I just keep swirling you, just keep on, keep on keeping on. I can't see your health, but I know you're getting hit, so. You done? You done. All right, you're done. Enemy reinforcements. What do? Oh, you're, oh, you look very reinforcy. Oh, perfect timing. All right, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some fire over here, and then I'm gonna, I don't know, what else am I gonna do? I'm gonna do that. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll, we'll keep on swinging. Keep on swinging, 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 swinging on. I wonder, is that, does that affect all of my weapons? No matter which one I use? Nah, it's just on. It, uh, it is merely on Noel's weapon. Hey yo, welcome back, big boy with the flammable shield. Might I remind you that it's flammable? All right. I remind you that it's flammable. I remind you now that it is flammable. And you are on fire, and that is okay. Oh, I mean, it's not okay for you, but... I feel at the very least indifferent, so... I'd say that's a net... It's not a net positive, but it certainly ain't a negative. Now time to stab you. Did I mention that this building that you're currently under is also flammable? Yeah, that's pretty cool. It doesn't explode like the barrels, but... Did I also mention that if I do this... Oh, I wanted to do this. Oh, why do you gotta be like that? Don't be like that. Swirl. Camera for later? <gasps> Thank you for giving me your camera for later. I'm gonna need that when I switch to the bar setup. Yes, I know I'm making dinner. Yeah, that's why the that's why the stream, the other stream is late tonight. So I can make dinner. What's that? Uh, yeah. If you pull it out now, then it'll defrost by the time dinner comes around. Sweet. And then I shall prepare it for you and for us and for anybody else visiting, which I'm pretty sure is no one tonight. So I guess it's just the two of us. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Yeah, uh, I guess we're having burritos and then whatever else side thing you're going to make. Burritos for dinner tonight. I like that. I like the idea of burritos for dinner. How many burritos? Well, I'm only taking out two. And then you As many out burritos. Ah, many burritos. Can you take out three burritos? If there's only four left. Three burritos? We'll just make more burritos. The world can never have a... Oh, there's five burritos? Oh, then making three is actually doing us a favor. That should be fine. Yeah. Well, we can either do that or we can do bean burgers. Well, it's a cocktail stream tonight, so I gotta make sure my my belly's all filled up so I don't hurt myself. just have the last piece of pizza too. I could do the last pizza pizza, but that last piece of pizza is a little oily and it makes my tummy feel off. Well then. No, 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 not. It's kind of like a like a mid hiss, like a lion. Two completely different things. I'm surprised you got the two mixed up. Every once in a while, the public at large gets a view of what it's like in my household, and I'd say it's a pretty fun time. I'm having a good time. Never a dull moment. I 
can hear the refrigerator clicking for some reason. Hmm. Weird. Very weird. I don't like this. Don't like it when the refrigerator clicks at me. The refrigerator is probably the noisiest resident of my apartment. I mean, during certain operations of the day. Certainly at night when the both of us, Anna and I, are both sleeping, the refrigerator is the one that's making noises. It's, it's, it's gurgling, it's creaking, it's moaning, it's... Not a very good roommate, to be perfectly honest, that refrigerator. But uh, I didn't buy it. It came with the place. So, uh, and it's not technically broke. So if it ain't broke, you know what they say. Don't fix it. Unless it's fixable. If it is very evidently fixable, like, I will fix it. If it can be improved upon, perhaps I will improve upon it. There were a lot of things in this apartment that needed to be improved upon. And I have improved upon a good many of them. And it has also improved upon a great many of them. For example... The, um, when we first got here, the air conditioner, air conditioners work by condensing water and whatnot, and because of the condensation of water, it makes things cool, and it cools off the air, and I won't go too far into it. But, um, oh, thanks for the clip, babe. Pizza feeling. But anyway, so this air conditioner, the release spout for it, was hanging from the ceiling in the bathroom. So I started, I noticed when we first moved in, there was a huge spot of water damage on the floor. I was like, well, man, somebody must not have a, a water mat when they get out of the shower. And lo and behold, like I see things dripping. Like, why is it dripping? Why is it freezing cold? And I look up and there's a release spout for my air conditioner. So uh, I routed that into the shower so that if it drips, it drips over a place that has a drain and is used to being, being essentially rained on. And I also used a PVC pipe to kind of route the water where I wanted it to go. The PVC pipe used to be used as a makeshift horn, because I used to play the trumpet. And if you blow like a trumpet into a PVC pipe, it makes a satisfying noise. Kind of like a like a boat horn. Ooh, yeah. Kind of like that. Without the gut at the end. It's just the ooh, but not like a wolf. More like a like a horn. If, you know, you, you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying? I hope you get what I'm saying. Otherwise, I don't even know what it looks like I'm explaining right now. It doesn't matter. I'd say context is key, but uh, there is every given moment for any person to clip whatever I'm saying and completely remove the context from it, and that may or may not make it more funny. Or not. You can be the judge. Well, maybe I'll be the judge. Shall I be the judge? The out-of-context moments? I feel like it would make it funnier. I feel like it was always make it funnier. Most of mines are sounds. Yeah, I make a lot of weird sounds. And out of context, they sound pretty weird. Yeah, just just like I was saying. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, like, listen. If you took a, a screenshot of me, like, mid-yawn or something, it probably looks like I'm trying to, like, throw up something. Throw up something big. If you took a screenshot of me, like, mid-sneeze, it looks like I got, just got punched in the face or something. Now, let's say that you didn't just use a screenshot, you took a little clip of it out of context. That sounds gonna, gonna sound pretty weird. Oh, crystal chunks. I need... I need those for somebody. But who somebody? Noelle? Was it you? No, you didn't need crystal chunks. Who or what needed crystal chunks? Oh! I can finally ascend Beto! Oh, for sure! Let's do it! Yeah! Ascension complete! Ascension impact! <laughs> Pretty awesome. I don't have a lot of level up materials. I mean, I do. I just don't have a lot of the big, big level up materials. I gotta do more quests! Gotta do more questing. Come on, come on. There we go. Come on, Vaminos! Everybody, let's go! Yeah, I, I like Beto. Honestly, I gotta say, out of the characters that I have in this particular group, Beto is awesome, but she is my least favorite among Noelle, Beto, Zhongling, and Sucrose. Sucrose is my top, but Beto's at the bottom. But not on the bottom of all the characters. I, I think she's very cool. I thought I thought one of these characters required those uh, crystal chunks to ascend. And now I gotta figure out who it was. It's not you. I need more anima hypostasis for you, Venti. Was it you? No, it wasn't you. Maybe it was you. No, it was not. It probably wasn't you. Oh, can I send you? A 
Hey, I gotta send you to Shinyan levels up. Sweet. Oh wait, I forgot too. Uh, don't forget the talents. Don't forget the talents. Oh, I am running out of materials to. Oh, looks like I gotta fight some more treasure hoarders. Ooh, it's hot outside. I'm a little nervous. Is it hot outside? 81. It's pretty hot inside too. Feels good in here. 81 degrees. Yes. Hot in here oh, you all need treasure hoarder stuff. Well, guess I'll have to wait. Be on the lookout for treasure hoarder medallions. Currently 87. Was it you, Kea? Did you need the special crystals? Yes. Uh, no, you can be leveled up. Mm, they don't really use you too much. Mm. Was it you? No. Oh, well, they're already leveled up, I guess. Who else needs ascension? Oh. Ascension impact. That's okay. I'll figure it out eventually. And my mission is over there, so let's go. I wonder if I need a leeway flying license to fly throughout the mountains and whatnot. Certainly hope the leeway equivalent of Amber doesn't come flying in, crashing into my character and be like, Um, where's your license, dude? Because I will swiftly respond with, what license? Ooh, more crystals. You wanted crystals, so you came to the right place. Let's get Venti out here. I like Venti. Venti's cool. He's got air arrow, a air arrows, air arrows, if you will. He's got those. Whoop. Where's it gonna go? Where's it? Oh, hello. You're here now. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, I missed you. Oh, that's beautiful. I love the fact that some characters you can actually aim with in this game. I think that is super satisfying. Incredibly satisfying. I am a big fan of that. Way too much effort. Anna Way too much play. effort? Anna can't play? No. Anna can't play Genshin Impact. Sorry, guys. She can't aim, so... She can't aim, therefore can't Genshin. Well, you know what they say, Anna. Some would say it sucks to suck. Um, you suck to suck. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know where my chocolate is. I didn't. Is. You're looking for chocolate now? Did you ever find your wallet? Yeah, I did. Oh, good, good. It was in the front of a backpack that I didn't think I used. Awesome, awesome. Did you notice any money missing from last time? No. Okay, good. Good that you didn't notice. Don't steal my money. I don't steal your money. Exactly. Why would I need to steal your money when I have all this money of my own? He says ironically. You know, what's mine is mine and what's yours is mine. yours, right? What's yeah. yours is mine? Yeah. What's mine is yours and what's yours is yours? Yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cause I own the world, babe. We're not particularly miserly in this household. What's a miser? A miser is somebody who's probably very uh, miserly with their money. Like, uh, doesn't want to spend it. Very uh, stingy. I have Stingy frugal. fingers. You're frugal, not stingy. Yeah, no, I got that. Yeah. Frugal. Did you buy my lion, my uh, rhino hero or no? Yeah, it should be arriving on Thursday. We should play that. We should play rhino hero? Yeah. Like okay. On stream, so everyone can understand why I'm so upset. Okay. Well, apparently, uh, another stream this week where Anna and I, I are going to be playing. Week. Maybe this week? N next week? I don't know. Okay. Well, sometime, Anna and I will be streaming a tabletop game called Rhino Hero. It's for children five and up. It's like Jenga, except with cards. It's like Jenga with cards and rhinos and animals. So, here we go. No, we no, like no, to play board games. You have, like, games. one little wooden peg, and that's the rhino. And he's like, you have to move him up that building. And if you tip the building down, you you fail. That's that's the gift. Ooh, that sounds pretty cool. Yes. He says as he yawns. Oops. Uh, I'll go get your Amazon. Ah, yes, the Amazon. That has my powered USB hub that I plan on using tonight. Uh -huh. No honor among thieves. Oh, they, uh... Hey! I was just asking for the treasure hoarders. Perfect! Let's fire everybody up. This is exactly what I was looking for. That's perfect. Fate has a way of catching up with me. Karma and all things, you know. Just works out. I like it when things work out like that. There's always, there was a good saying. I always tell myself, and it's that everything will work out. Don't worry about it. Don't worry so much about things. It'll work out. Why does everything in the bot come in this weird packaging? What do you mean weird packaging? Well, it's the same exact box style as whatever you bought last time. Is that really how big it is? That looks really small. Hmm. Definitely smaller than it looked in the picture. I... Everything looks bigger on camera. 
technically illegally opened your mail because I didn't have your permission. And it I, you can totally do that, yeah. Yes, but that's illegal. No, you can open my mail. It's as fine. long as I have your permission. Oh, look, it's like a little QWERTY thing. Oh, really? Let me see. Oh, a little hub. Oh, it is so tiny. Too. So tiny. I like that. And then it comes with another thing. Oh, and I can use my map to find on. treasure hoarder too. Yeah, that's the charging thing for it. Perfect. There's a charging thing? Yeah, it's powered. It's Did a power like a membership card? A membership card for what? Atola! Atola member card! Uh, no, I don't think I need for that. And thank you for that tidbit of information there, Arp. I didn't realize that you can actually find that stuff on the map. It's a good little tidbit. I can find treasure hoarders on the map. I just look around. Ooh, make the things easy for me. They're a particular type of enemy. No big deal. No big deal. They think they're a big deal, but we know that they're not really a big deal. We know this. Oh, goodness. Crystallize. Let's crystallize. Do -do 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 -do. What should you listen to? Um, Fallout Boy. Mayday Parade. Palais Royale. Paramore. I don't know. Just more edgy music. Listen to edgy music. Or anime. You always go with anime. Some pretty edgy songs in there, too. Like, um, Touch Off by Uverworld. That's the theme, The Promised Neverland. That's a good show. And an even greater opening. Nah, the opening pales in comparison to the show itself. That show is so good. Well, uh, that's pretty cool. There we go. Let's see what this reads. Read, read, read. No, read the button. Read. At the southernmost point is a shortcut, a meandering mountain road. Those who seek mysteries hidden in the clouds watch the sea's tides above and below. Yeah. Bye, dearest. Good luck at class. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. The queen has left the kingdom. And now it's only me. What will I do with this newfound power of aloneness? Probably nothing different. Hi there, Sealy. Take me to your home. Take me to your leader. Where is your leader? Where is the mothership? Take me there. Take me to the top. Take me to the top. Oh, there's a there's a statue around here. I should uh should say hello to that statue. I think I got quite a few geoculus that I can deposit. Ice flower! Fire power! Nope, this way. No. Guova? Guova, come on. There we go. Thank you. Thanks, Guova. Cameron, did you order something else? Did I order something else? According to this, we did. Oh. I didn't realize it was coming today, whatever it was. What is it? What is it? Bone thingy? Hey, those are the new tops to my, uh... Oh, that's so cool! I bought new joystick covers because mine are coming off of my controller. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize you ordered stuff. Yeah, I didn't think that was coming today. Okay. I thought that was also coming on Thursday. Okay, bye bye, baby. Bye. She came back. Again. Okay, so actually, now that I have these. I also just grabbed my ah! keys. Oh, you. <laughs> nice. You got the keys too? We're not using those. <laughs> silly. Silly, silly, silly. Let's, let's, put on these, let's put on these new uh, joystick covers because mine are. Mine are coming off. Let's see if I can actually put them on. Ooh. Love the... Smells pretty good. New packaging. Love that smell. Love that. What's, uh... I don't know. Does this need to be a... I don't know. The action's over here this time, so, uh... This is my controller. It's falling apart. This is the thing. I don't know. It's, um... Fuzzmon. Fuzzmon covers. So I'm just gonna slip it on and, uh... See. Oh, that's... Uh, yeah, that's, I guess that works. Let's take out the other one, too. It's kind of, it's kind of falling apart anyway. That's just, there we go. Rip that off. Put on the other one. I don't think there's a, to be honest, I don't think these are tight enough, but I don't need to know if they need to be tight. They're squishy. Very squishy. Hmm. Whatever. Well, hopefully this works. And if it don't work, well, whatever then. It actually feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. They don't really come off. Mm. I'm iffy on it. Whatever. Fuzzmon joystick toppers. They work. 
Oh, I need the I need the fire. Fire dude. I need fire dude. Come on. Gwoba. Gwoba. Come on, buddy. Break it open. Fine, we'll skip this one then. You are causing me troubles. That making me sad. Hmm. Uh where are ye? Where are ye? Where's the thing? Where's the statue? Is it up on that floating island? Uh, maybe up on that floating island. You know what? I want to say hello to the Geo Archon. Who may or may not still be with us. So, uh... Let's go up there. Like, I must have been to it before. Oh, yes, it is up here. It is up here! Man, look at how high we've gotten. Goodness gracious. Oh! More, uh, Chingshin. Cool. I was running low on this before. I got more. Oh, I want to click the button to talk to the statue. There we go. Statue of the Seven. Worship statue. Here's... Take it. Level up! Stamina increased. Sweet. And you know what? While I'm here on top of these mountains, I know that there's at least one more mountain peak that I have to turn the bird on. So to speak. Turning the burden. Uh, let's see. That's already going up there. There's one more, it seems, in that direction. So, let's do that. But I'll also navigate to my final commission quest for the day. I should do that as well. So, let's see about that. What do we got, cliffhanger? Oh! Cool. I'm heading back to, uh, Leeway. Uh, Leeway Harbor. Sweet! I just saw a sign about Team Master Liyusu. Liyusu? Liyusu. I'm going with Liyusu. Until Liyusu himself corrects me. I will try my best. I try my best over here. We, we try. We like to try over here. We like to try. Even if the try- even if the trying attempts don't work out very well. Get on top of this mountain. On top of the mountain. On top of the mountain. On top of the mountain. Climb onto this tree. There we go. Gonna- Oh, perfect. Little ledge. Little ledge. You can stop. There we go. <laughs> you can stop crawling now. Wait a little bit. Just to get a view of where the other one is. Got a better vantage point on top of this mountain. Oh, and then maybe if I bring that down, that other island will come to greet me. Oh, this may not work out the way that I want to. Mm. Gonna need some more stamina. So, uh, let's go with that. <laughs> need a little more stamina to get up this mountain. A little bit more. Tiny little boost. Tiny little boost to get up the mountain. Climb. Climb, I say. Climb again. Thank you. And again. Okay, and from here, there is not one coming from... I see... Two of them. Do I see two? I see one down there. One over there. There's another one over there. And there may be another one... Actually, wait. Actually, let me just try to see if... It activates and works. Oh, never mind. That was all of them. And now I can now I can do this. All right. Zoo. Uh. Oh, hey there, platforms. Hey, how you doing? All right. All right. Here we go. Up we go. Oh, they all look like ants from here. Oh, can I can I climb on this? Oh, hello. Nope. Bring me up. Bring me up. Oh, hello. Hi, other platforms. Uh, you were waiting for me. You were just waiting for me to see you. Now, look at that. Ain't that beautiful. That's cool. Vibe check that for a moment. Let's mark that. Got that one. Nope, I want to zoom in a little bit more. Yeah. Got that one. I'm going to wind up running out of those pins. That's beautiful. Man. The rolling hills and mountains, the clouds coming through. They're not like snow tipped or anything, which is exactly what I would expect them to be for so high. But then again, that's what Dragon Spine's for. That's that's pretty tall. It's a pretty magnificent view from here. That's nice. 
And the music is very fitting, too. Uh, all right. Bob, check over. Let's open up these chests. Crazy, crazy treasures to be found. Magnificent treasures beyond your wildest dreams. Cool. Berserker's Rose, some Primo Gems. I knew I'd be getting some Primo Gems. Ooh, some new recipes, too. I like that. I like new recipes. Certainly love those. Ooh, what do we got? Adeptus Temptation. Ooh. Perhaps a favorite of the Adepti. Perchance. Let's see what this reads. Read. Read. Oh, I got some cool trinkets, too. That's awesome. This place above the clouds is built on a foundation of Plostrite, one of the marvels of this world. Its original purpose was to serve as my private sanctuary, somewhere where I could get away from the world and escape the highs and lows of normal life. Then the Adepti took over the place as somewhere they could focus on seeking ultimate truth in seclusion. Now that Taishan Mansion is sealed off, they finally returned the place to me. It's great to have it back, but I'm over it now. I want to go back to the world for a bit. I'll probably start with Wheelie Plains. Fitting, really. A round trip to the Plains of Returning and Departing, as they're also known. Hover around for a while, then hover away on a hovering stone. <laughs> nice. I wonder if that was written by the Geo Archon himself. Or perhaps someone else. Maybe Lady Ningguang has been up here before. She seems to be familiar with the Plostrite places. Where to next? Off to my next destination, which is Thataways. Which I believe is in Leeway Harbor. So we'll uh, hang in the air for a little bit of time. Just chilling out. Just chilling. Maybe take a bite of some melon. Hmm. That one wasn't cut very well. Got the skin. Hmm. Crunchy. I don't really like it when my melons are crunchy. Not a fan of that. Oh, what's that down there? That looks cool. I'll investigate. Oh, it seems like i actually already done that. There seem to be, like, shrine things that I can glow, and they seem to already be glowing. So, alright. Maybe I'll investigate that, but I'll investigate this waypoint over here. This teleport waypoint. And what seems to be a dungeon next to it. Yun Cursed. Cool. Oh dear, it seems I'm running out of stamina. Let's uh let's get at least to the top of this little thing over here. Maybe. 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 Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Oh, maybe, maybe. Yes. <laughs> that was close. Not that it would have been too bad. Would have been just fine, but. Oh, actually, is the waypoint down there? Is it down here? Is it down here? Where are you at? Oh, there you are. <laughs> nice. There we go. Down we go. That's where I wanted to go. Who knew? I didn't have to go up on top of any mountains. Teleport waypoints unlocked. What do we got over here? Any ne'er do wells? Slimes? It's pretty ne'er do welly. Pretty, pretty, pretty ne'er do welly. Hey there, pal. Hello. Whoa, there are a lot of you. Uh, fire. Fire, fire, burn. My ability will come in handy here. Yeah, that one. And then let's do some swirl ability with uh, Sucrose. Are they? Where'd they go? Did they all go away? Oh, hello. There's some down there. Let's do that. Uh, okay. Maybe take care of the big guy first. Oh, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Oh, well. Nice and spicy. Because nice fire is hot. Spicy. Hot. Slime condensate. Police outside. You know, just a normal... Just, just your normal, average, everyday, day-day. You know? And I'll, I'll hit you. I'll hit you both. I'm gonna hit you both? I'm hit you both? Everybody get some love. Who wants some love? You want some love? Come here, I'll give you some love. Love with the tip of the spear. Love with the tip of the spear. There you go. Love, 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 love. See? The pain means it's working. Well, that was awkward for everybody, especially the slimes. Hmm. Hmm. Let's get a chest. Chest, chest, chest to chest. What's in the chest? What's in your chest? Organs, probably. Hopefully. What's in here? Ooh, another chest. 
Almost missed that one. It blended in so well with the mountain around it. Where's this other thing? Oh, this seems cool. Ah, perhaps I need to set up those shrines in a particular order for the other shrines to become available to me. But first, berry collection. <gasps> Ooh, and viewpoint. Liking that. And treasure hoarders. Hello, everybody. I've come to visit. Another test subject, Another test subject for... Oh, for your flames? Yeah, well... Unfortunately for you, I'm experienced with flames. Well, maybe not Noelle herself, but uh, I've got one of my party members, which is technically a piece of me, perhaps a facet of my personality, is very well-versed with fire. Her name's Jeanlin, and she's nice with fire because, like, she cooks, and you need, you need some fire or heat for that. If you can't take the heat, just get out of the kitchen, bro. Just get out of there. Get out of that kitchen. Can't take it? Leave. Your meal will be done soon enough. The hunter becomes the hunted. It was a very epic way of dying. I like that. It was a very nice epic way of dying. You really got the message across. But it's all for naught. Because I will kill your friends too. Let's do it. Smack, 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 smack. Smack, 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 smack. Yeah, get that. Overload you? Oh, oh I missed you. Because you were dead. Uh, that's why I missed you. Because of your death. Let's grab some of these. Whatever treasure may be lying around. If only the world were like this. That you could just go around investigating random parts of the world. And be like, oh look, stuff that I can add to my inventory. And I suppose there are ways of doing that. Like uh, geocaching. Like uh, you get an app on your phone. You find treasures. Take a little piece. You go back later. Stuff of that sort. I've done geocaching once. It was a part of a friend's birthday party. That was kind of cool. It was very entertaining. I like that. One more cream stew for proficiency. Mm -mm. Tasty. Tasty, tasty cream stew. What about the adept uh, thing? What do I need for the... Uh, oh, goodness. You need... I'm just missing crabs! Ah, I need to buy more crabs. And it specifically requires ham. Yeah, that makes sense. Ham. Big old problem with ham. Hello, you all down there. Hello, monkeys. Hello, Charles. How are you today? This mechanism looks kind of suspicious. No kidding. Let's take care of it. And then do that. Get it, get it fired up. Fired? Oh, we got ice. All right, well, that's not exactly what I had in mind, but we can superconduct too. That's fine. It's uh, just it's how we got to do it then. And then kill you. Kill you good. Now that wasn't very difficult. Oh, there's more. Hmm. Do I need help with anything in particular? I don't think so. Not as of right now, but I do appreciate the offer. Everything's doing all right. I pretty much just got here to this puzzle, so... There's still a little bit more time for me to try to figure out what's going on. Uh, before I start reaching out to the crowd for crowd answers. But I do appreciate your support. As I always will. I always appreciate their support of people around. The internet apparently has no shortage of people who know better about what's going on than I do. Ooh. Oh, thank you for cheering, Esteban. Hello there. Ooh, you know what? What do I do for cheers? I have a new thing for cheers now. I gotta go grab it. I have many of them. Cheering time! That's a thing. I'm doing rather well. It's been a nice bright morning so far. It's very it's very warm outside. It's also very warm inside, and I enjoy that. My coffee makes me feel not so tired as I was two hours ago. So that's another big plus. That and that and I'm excited. I'm really excited for things. I'm trying something new today. Not right now, but tonight. I'm trying something new. I'm gonna just make cocktails on camera. No games. Just cocktails. And I'm really excited for that. I actually bought myself... I ran out of USB ports on my laptop, so... Got myself a powered USB hub so I can actually connect the cameras properly. It's exciting. It's gonna be exciting. I'm really excited for it. It's just something new. It's just... It's new. It's new. That's why it's exciting. It's a reason to celebrate. There's always a reason to celebrate. Always a reason to celebrate. Yeah, for whatever reason. You know? That's, a, that's the vibe we got going on here. Even if there's a, even if it's the smallest reason to celebrate. You know what it reminds me of? 
uh, my, my fiance loves to go to, to, to Disney World. Her family is totally obsessed with Disney. So we go to Disney World pretty often, whether or not I want to or not. I just wind up finding myself there. And they had these little pins for different occasions. You could celebrate your engagement. You could celebrate your birthday. Or you can just get a pin that says, I'm celebrating. A very nondescript way. And you didn't even have to write on anything. You didn't have to write anything on it. It's just, today is a day that I'm celebrating for whatever reason it may be. I thought that was really, really cool. And I really liked that. So, uh, that's what I kind of got going around here. There's always a reason to celebrate. Ooh, tiny cutscene. Ah, oh, I knew it. I knew something would happen. That's cool. And now the water is draining. Hey. I guess I'll do the next uh, little challenge down there, too. Oh, and there's the, um... There's the dungeon. Little red sigil in the wall. That's cool. Oh, I love it. I love a game like this where there's things to discover, and only if you go out looking for it, you will find it. Uh, let's, uh... Boop. Oh, goodness gracious. That cracked. Are there more things to crack? Can I crack more? Oh. 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 I understand. I need to crack more of those and light up all the thingy mabobs. All the things that can be lit, I will lit. That's lit, bro. That's lit, sis. Dude. And it gives me a little geo power, which I can swim back and light up the little pillar with. And there appears to be three of them. So there's one. Mo oh, I see it over there. Boop. And uh, now for this one over here. Yeah. I got that puzzle. Puzzle's not too bad. Puzzle could have been worse. Could have been a. As frustrating as the puzzles for the Crystal Hearts in that Celeste game. That was frustratingly entertaining. Love that. Gotta love to see that happen. Someone oh, that one's back dance. again. Well, now I've got all of them. Oh, cool. Column. I love staring at columns. But I can do this now, so. I won't be staring at the columns any longer. Drain the water some more. Suck up all the water. Sucking all of it up. Who knew that Plostrite was also sponge-like? I do now. Given the right conditions. Hey, nice. Oh, and, um... A little Geoculus has spawned, too. Where at? There you are! It was below the water. Pretty cool! Pretty cool. That's awesome! That is so cool. I love puzzles like that. It's that feeling of... Uh, uh, this wouldn't be the first time that I've mentioned that feeling of accomplishment before. That is unlike any feeling in the world. If I had to pick a favorite feeling, it's a feeling of accomplishment. The feeling that you get after you've overcome some challenge, be it, be it small or big, but usually the big challenge have a higher accomplishment payoff in the end. Though that's not always the case. But that kind of stuff. It's a really good feeling. Oh, cool. Prima Gems. And Heroes Whip. Nice. Lots of Mora. Taishan Mansion. That was the mansion they were talking about. In the book. That's cool. Can I do anything here? Um, Let's see. I can gain... No, I... Not yet. I was trying to investigate. Um, What is this? It's a... Ta oh, talent level up material. The teachings of gold. Well. Why not? Let's do it. Um, it recommended elements for Cryo, Hydro, and Electric. Boogie, boogie, boogie. So let's actually switch to the other party, who has at least two of those. And then let's put some Electric in there. I can switch out... I'm not switching out Venti. It was Water, Cryo, and let's switch out Xinyan with... Uh, I wanted to switch you. With Razor. Oh, Razor's such low level. Okay, well, let's... I'll watch your back. Thank you for watching my back, Razor. I like that. Thank you. I mean, if you're not watching my back, who will? Let's see if I can... Let's level you up first, because I have a bunch of these now, so... Alright. Ted it is. Now you're at 1229. What about more? Keep on going. More, 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 more. I will level you up, Razor. And if I can ascend you, I will again. There we go. Perfect. See, if I have a need to level you up, I absolutely will. And this time, I have a need to do so. Can I ascend you? Ah, uh, no, I'm missing things. That's okay. Level 40 is pretty good. 
Um, are your artifacts up to- I don't have artifacts on you, so let's give you some artifacts. Let's spread the love to Razor over here. What would you do good with? You're kind of elemental energy. I like the fact that you've got electric to you. Um, should we go with the, the exiles? Yeah, let's see. What do we got exile-wise? Exile seems pretty cool. The exile. Exile. We got exiles feathers too. Sweet. Defense and mastery and plus attack. Um, in this particular group, yeah, I don't really have, I don't think I have a, uh, a DPS character for the most part. So yeah, let's bring your attack up. And the uh, HP, let's go attack again. Big attack. Crit damage? Yes, I like that. Very much so. And whatever you got. More crit damage? Any more attack use? And crit damage. Oh, that gives attack and crit damage. That's perfect. And, uh, yeah, I think that's good for now. Venti, how are you doing? Do I have talents for you? No, not yet. Oh, you know what? But I can also upgrade the talents of the other characters. Like, uh, was it Noel? Nah, you're already, you're already good. Uh, was it... It's not you. It was Beto. It was Beto. Cameroonie! That's what they call me. That's what many people call me. That's a lot of syllables. Hi there, Neko. How you doing? Neko, by the way, now that you're here, I have great and wonderful news. We have Burning Soul Worker working on our computers. Uh, you ca I Sorry that you demand the Queen Anna, but the Queen Anna actually just left about 20 minutes ago, so you came a little too late. But I will pass on your message that you popped by. But yes, Burning Soul Worker is now working. This was the issue. I figured out what was going on. You know how I was describing that the window would just disappear? As it turns out, on Anna's computer and this other computer that I was installing on, the window would disappear, but the installation would continue in the background. So, even still, like, after the installation was complete, it should have opened up Burning Soul Worker and been, like, you know, the burning sounds and whatnot. It didn't on this other computer, but I got around it by installing Burning Soul Worker to a flash drive and then just running it off of there, and it worked just fine. My, um, this is Burning Soul Worker right here, and, uh, it's working. It's working for me, it's working for Anna, and it's working for Matt, aka Final Rhapsody. So we've got three out of the four in at least my particular group over here working for them. So I'm excited about that. And so after Game Forge shuts everything down, well, we'll be moving on to Burning Soul Work with you. With y'all. With the rest of the uh, Enlightened crew. Alright, let's do this one. Let's do this thing over here, this dungeon. That'll be exciting. That will be exciting. I'm really, I'm excited for that. I think that'll be really, really cool. Have to odd y'all to, to my guild. <gasps> Your guild? You got a guild? Cool. Diet Requiem will have to exist in another universe. It, Diet Requiem will be left behind us. Hoods of Gal will be in a new, a new kingdom, a new guild with new friends and new adventures abound. We are named Sacred. I'll admit that's a much cooler guild name than Diet Requiem. I'll admit that. I admit that. Diet Requiem was supposed to be. We were like, we were all discussing like, what should our guild name be? And I was like, Requiem, but not really Requiem. A diet requiem, requiem, if you will. And everyone was like, why? Why not? And so that's what we went with. Sacred's cooler, though. I think Sacred's very cool. Defeat all the opponents. It's wet over here. Water, 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 water. And electricity. Oh, you got me. You got me like that. Wowza. Perhaps I should deal with you a little better. Swirl abilities are good. I love that swirl ability. Whack. You are so OP, Venti. I love you. I love you, Venti. Let's just keep on whacking. That actually didn't do a lot of damage. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Well, everyone's healed now, so... I don't use Barbara too often, so I got my, my controls mixed up. Everyone's fiery over here. I guess it's kind of inflicting water. Kinda, kinda. Let's do that. Oh, that was much better if I click and hold. If I click and hold, it doesn't do better. Let's do some of this. Oh, you you went away! Darn it, you jumped! Why would you jump like that? I cannot believe you. I cannot believe you would do something like that. <sighs> Goodness gracious. Oh, that's the Discord for uh, Burning Soul Worker, right? Yeah, I'm not a part of that yet. I was meaning on I, I was meaning to drop in there. But if I if I continue to have problems with the installation, and I'll be completely honest, with how well the installation went, I completely forgot to join. So I appreciate you dropping that in chat. I will join that. Hopefully. You know what? You know what I can do? I got Discord running on this computer. Let's let's click that. Click that and see how that do. I hope my computer doesn't fry itself. Oh, goodness. Where'd he go? Oh, dear. Oh, goodness. 
Hmm, I don't know if that worked. Goodness. And the guild discord. Nice. Oh my god, did I? I got electric abilities. That's pretty cool. Barbara heal us. Razor needs it. Razor Dunn needs it. Cool. Oh, it is opening up. Oh, Razor's dead. That's okay. That's that's fine. It, it happens around here. Well, I'm happy to be a part of the crew. I'll definitely pop on in there when I have the moment to do so. Oh, okay. Actually, the Burning Soul Worker one popped up on my computer. You know what? Can I? No, I don't want to leave the domain yet. All right, let's click on the other. Burning Soul Worker. I have joined. That one I have. 2.0. And the other one. I have to get the other one. I have to click the other one. Where'd you go? Where'd you go in chat? Ah, no, where'd you go? Oh, the scroll on this computer is really weird. Ah! Where are you? Where are you? There you are. There you are. Click button. Okay, cool. I got that. I got that. Here we go. Time for takeoff. Cool. And I will do with this in a little bit. There we go. We'll take care of this. Things are going crazy right now. Sacred. Sacred. Shall I join? I shall join. I will pop messages in later. Uh, I'm a little preoccupied right now. But I'm happy to be here now. Welcome to Sacred. Wonderful, wonderful. I like that. Jesse? Oh, it was the direct message from the, the AI girl. Nice. Let me close out Google Chrome over here. Okay. Here we go. Pending communications later. I have two minutes left to defeat half the enemies. All right. Now it's time to get serious. Now it's time to get very serious. So, how do we do seriousness around here? Maybe not straight into the microphone. That might be annoying. We get serious around here. This is serious business over here. <laughs> serious, serious business. We're fighting the enemies of this world. And none shall tell me that it's, it's not a joke. This is business. Business, I tell you. Business. Anyway, the bit's over. The bit's over for now. Oh, goodness. Let's do this. I'm gonna try my hardest. Yeah, you can't escape. You'll never escape. Oh, come on. Come on now. Die. These are pretty difficult. These are pretty, pretty difficult. Very difficult. Oh, goodness. It's getting tougher and tougher by the moment. It'll melt you like that. Oh, maybe I wasn't prepped for this. Oh, I got one more minute left to kill all these ones. So uh, let's give that a shot. That'll hopefully take you down rather quickly. Maybe. Maybe not. No, I don't know. Mm, swirl. Swirl's good. Swirl's very good. Let's do overloaded. Combine that. That'll be good. Oh, goodness gracious. I am just ripping you to shreds over here. I might have to retry this one. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it in this time period. I got too distracted. I got too distracted by my friends. My new friends and cronies. The distraction is real. Come on, do it. Do it. Nah, this, this ain't gonna work. I don't have I don't have faith in myself. I don't think it's gonna work. But you know what? We fight to the very end. We fight to the very end. As we should. As mighty, mighty warriors. Just like we do. Just like we do. You know what I could do? I, I forget. I forget. I have buffs that I can put on myself if necessary. So that's what I'll do. The next time I try this, I'll actually use buffs the way that the world intended me to use them. Without my buffs, what am I? A buffless chap. I'm just a buffless chap without my buffs. Something fell. Oh, something fell. It sounded like something fell. Yeah, overloading seems to work now. I'm very excited too. I was so... Like, it was really, really cool to, like, start playing like the MMO with my buddies and then it was really really cool like coming to Twitch and seeing like who else out there who also has like a passion for this kind of stuff and it's cool to be able to like it feels so authentic finding those communities like I wasn't going out trying to search for them they just kind of they, they like found me and that's like really really cool and we all gelled well I, I think I feel like we're gelling pretty well at least in my personal opinion um but I, I, it's really cool it feels so authentic 
It's like it's like you're walking down the street and you make a you make a random conversation with somebody and they wind up really being like a really cool dude and then like maybe you exchange your socials or something you just you, you chat every once in a while and that's awesome it just feels so authentic and I really like that kind of stuff I like those types of like uh like random interactions that you will get with people like I feel like I feel like it feels the same at like a convention where you'll walk around you're in your favorite character cosplay or whatever and somebody's just like yo I really like that show and you're like yeah well I really like your show too whatever you're dressed up as let's chat a bit oh I forgot to I forgot to do the buffs I forgot to do the buffs e hello Harry how are you how is school today did you go to school today <laughs> school's fun it can be okay let's let's do these buffs Let's do these buffs before I get dis too distracted. Yeah! Yeah, that's good. Uh, let's do crit attack. Let's get my defense up. Where's my crit attack bonus? Where's my crit attack? Where's my crit attack? There's your crit attack. Let's protect ourselves from fire. It was alright. Alright. It wasn't air. It was alright. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Do that and then we'll increase our water damage. Dude, now we got all the buffs. Now we got all the buffs. All the buffs. Great, great buffs. So many buffs. Oh, and I forgot about Venti. Don't forget about Venti. Never forget about Venti. Animo, Animo, Animo. Yes. Now we've got it all. Now we've got it all over here. So let's do that. Swirl damage increase with with ice. Let's do that. Let's ice everyone up too. Is that taking care of things? Oh, this feels like it's taking care of things. Feels like it's taking care of things pretty, pretty well. Oh, and chang has got that ability. Oh, you jumped. I'll let you jump. And then I'll do that. Yes. It totally works. It totally works. Oh, you were getting wine drunk last night. Neko. Shame on you. Just kidding. No, I, I get that. Actually, I, I might be getting... I might be getting not so wine drunk tonight. Uh, I'm planning on doing... That's the thing. And everyone's listening now, so I'm going to mention it once again. I am doing a different type of stream tonight than I usually do. I am going to do a just chatting stream where I just make cocktails on camera in my little bar setup. No, I think it's gonna be. I, I think I'll have a fun, a fun time with it. So I'm trying to. I'm trying to hype myself up for it, hyping everyone up about it. I think it'll be cool. I think it'll be fun. If you're, if you've ever been interested in mixology or anything, I have basically backstory. I have a couple of books on cocktails and stuff, and I have a wide collection of liqueurs and whatnot to choose to choose from. Can I wear a Hawaiian shirt? Yes, I absolutely can. I'll wear my flamingo shirt. It's perfect. I'll wear my flamingo shirt. I've got the official request in for it. I was gonna go bartending style. I was gonna put on my fancy vest. I was gonna put on a tie and whatnot, but the request for Hawaiian shirts, how could I say no? I have shirts for this particular occasion. Dude, I love my flamingo shirt. Almost as much as I love my ducky shirt, which I'm wearing right now. This is my ducky shirt. Love my ducky shirt, but I also love my flamingo shirt. I'll have to iron it too. Oh my God. I'll have to iron it for the occasion. It's special. I love special. I love special. I'll be doing that kind of late tonight. It'll be... It's 9.30? I think it said 9.30 on the schedule. I think I put that up properly. Because uh, Anna gets back. The queen returns from her adventure at around 6-ish, maybe? 6-ish. And so we'll have dinner. I'll prepare myself. And then, yeah. I think it'll be a fun time. I think it'll be a fun time. If you're into that kind of stuff. If you're into that kind of stuff. I, for one, am super into cocktails. And I have a whole backstory for that. But uh, you know what? Maybe I'll save that for later. Maybe, maybe I'll save that one for later. But I love, I love cocktails. I love cocktails. It's like, it's that idea that you can mix things together and make something new. I guess it's maybe the same reason that people cook. That's the reason I mix. It's not the reason I drink. I have many reasons for why I drink. But that's the reason I mix. Actually, I drink because I mix. If, if I had to be so, if I had to be so bold on that. Let's get everyone some passive heals. Some passive heals are good. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this again. Burb! Got a pips of water. No problem. I got some water, too. The coffee's making my mouth dry, so that's a pretty good idea. Had to remind me to consume. Consumption is necessary. Man, this is... This is not fun. This is not a fun challenge. I don't think I'm up to the task. I really don't think I'm up to the task. Wow. Even with all these buffs? All these buffs, I'm still not up to the task. Oh, you're exploded. Oh, my goodness. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Oh, you went up, and you're gonna come down. I'm gonna save those abilities. The ice, 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 ice. I swing around like this, everything will be okay, right? Yeah, actually, that was that was pretty good. That was pretty pretty good. 
Now you're popped. And now the final set of enemies? Yes. Let's do this. Let's do on this one. Awooga! Big wolf. That's the wolf inside of me. The wolf inside of me goes awooga. <laughs> Don't ask me why. You just do. Can I not? Oh, I have to keep slashing like this, it seems. Wow, that was pretty good. Oh, where'd you go? Why'd you do that? Why'd you run away? I have a minute and a half. This is like double the time I had last time to do this. So, uh, let's do that. I'm running very low on health. So let's heal everyone. La 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 la. Ice ability? Did that, will that take it? Yeah, that took you down. All right, this is, this is possible. I feel that this is possible. Anything's possible with Popsicle. That's what they told me on the commercials. Anything's possible with Popsicle. I do not have Popsicles right now, but there are Popsicles on the fridge. Oh, let's take care of business. Oh, let's take care of business. Did it work? Yes, it worked. Oh, lovely. I did not think that was going to work, but it did. And I'm happy. There's that, there's that feeling. There's that feeling of accomplishment. I feel it. I, I don't actually feel it here. I feel it up here. So I don't know why I'm doing this. You know, I feel it. I feel it in my heart. I feel it in my locket. This is my little heart. Oh my goodness. Come on, locket. Work with me. This is my little locket. It's a little heart on it. Doesn't have a picture on it or anything, but uh, it's uh, I got it from my fiance. The queen, the queen bestoweth upon me a locket, a locket of love. Oh, I didn't want to do this again. Oh no, thank you. <laughs> that that's that's cool and all, but uh, nah, that's fine. Challenge failed. Leave? Yeah. Let's move on. I got commission quests. Got commission quests. Hmm. Melons. Did I actually collect the items? I I have a strange feeling that I did not collect the rewards from that. Hmm. Oh well. That's what I get for not paying attention. <laughs> if that was indeed the case. Like, I don't remember seeing things popping up on my screen. I don't know if I... Oh. Oh dear. Well, hopefully I won't do that again. Actually, let's check how much original resin, resin I have. How do I check that? How do I check how much resin I have? Will that be in my inventory somewhere? Resin, resin, resin? Resin? Fragile resin. Where are the other resin? How do I check that? I have no idea how to check my resin. Hm. Oh well. There's another one. Is it up there? It seems to be on the path somewhere. I have no idea how to check that. <sighs> oh, there's the there's a path, so I should where's the Okay, this direction. This direction. Other side of the mountain. Yeah. Yeah, resin. How do I check that? Because if I have full resin, I didn't collect the rewards. If I don't... Is it on the map? Look at the map. Original, re original resin. Okay, I did collect the rewards. Awesome. Nice. Thanks for that. The moon thingy. Yeah, the moon thingy. You got it. You got it. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. I appreciate your assistance, Neko. I appreciate everybody. That deserves a celebration. Oh, I dropped that party thing on the floor. There we go. I can't do it too much. I try to reserve the the party horns for cheers and whatnot. We gotta make we gotta keep things special around here. If I just kept blowing my horn all over the place, it wouldn't be special anymore. The weekly cut to 30? Really? They cut that? Oh, I guess I haven't noticed. I don't I guess I don't play enough. I don't think I've ever run out of resin because I just don't play enough to warrant running out of it. But like if I ever did like a day where I went boss rushing, I'm sure I would run out very quickly. I just haven't done that yet. I gotta spread my love to the other games. Yeah, wolf boss. Oh my god. That one was That one was fun. That was fun. That used a lot of resin too, didn't it? I just remember that being quite a time, Wolf Boss. Oh god, Wolf Boss. So where's the thing? Where's the Geoculus? I am over top of it over here, so maybe it's in this tree. Or maybe it's right above me. Up? Nope, doesn't look up. So I will turn my attention downwards. Uh, maybe it's in this tree. Tree? Tree, 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 tree. That didn't work the way I wanted to. Hey, look at that tree. That works. Map. That's not the map. Oh, actually, did I do anything in there? Anything good yet? I need to hypostasis. 
Spiral Abyss, Domains of Blessing. Clear three de uh, blessing, Domains of Blessing artifact. Hm. Interesting. Very cool. I'll work on that eventually. Maybe I should work on that. Do I got a lot of uh, adventure rank points for that? I wonder if I do. I need to increase my adventure rank. That's why I'm doing the commissions. That's that's what I've been shooting for. But maybe... Let me check that. How much experience do I get for that? Oh, it doesn't look like I get an experience for it at all. Except... Mm, not really. Oh, well, there's 100, so... I bet the bosses... Maybe the bosses give more. Oh, yeah. Okay, they give more experience. Maybe I should go around and do more of that. Do more boss hunting. I mean, pretty much when I come across a boss, if I'm running around, I fight it. I do. And I like that. All these bosses. Hey, what's up, Flash and Archaic Lord of Lightning and Blitz? Dude, what are you doing? Bear witness to my fists! And what fighting style is that? Of all the martial f faculties in the world, speed reigns supreme! Do you not know? This is called the Dance of the Frenzied Turtle. Ooh. Check it out! Is that fast or what? I literally didn't see anything. Cue the joke of it being too fast for the eyes. Cue that. Here we go. Humph, your mind can't believe your eyes. That's all. It was, that was adjacent. The reason you didn't see it is that it was too fast for you. Oh, I called it! Now, is that fast or what? All right, Flash Fistling. What about the Archaic Lord of Lightning and Blitz? Of all the martial faculties in the world, speed reigns supreme. What is your purpose here, fellow truth seeker? Do you, too, come in search of divine guidance on the way? Who, who are you? <laughs> the truth is, I'm an adeptist of the way, living the life of a hermit in this place. I mean, look at my name. Archaic Lord of Lightning and Blitz. Does that sound like a plebe's name to you? Certainly not. No mortals succeed in entering Zayun cursed save for those superior strength and extraordinary spirit. I'm truly overjoyed to witness it. Henceforth, my door is open to you. You shall be my disciple. And I shall impart to you the secrets of the way. Um, sorry to break this to you, buddy, but your door is clearly not open, and I'm not sure why it would be. You don't... You don't have anything in your home. Do you actually live here? You both live here? Two people? In the... Okay, you know what? I am not one to judge, so... I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm gonna keep on... I'm gonna keep on moving on. You, uh, you be... You keep being Flash, Archaic Lord of Lightning and Thunder, and I'll just keep being the guy who spells his name with an X for arbitrary reasons. Anyway, we move on. Hey, Hiletro. Hiletro, did you see those guys back there? Can you believe those guys back there? Cannot believe it. Yeah. Cannot believe it. I know, right? Yeah, like, what's up with them? Oh, oh, is, uh, uh, did my opinions hurt you? Did you not? Oh, you want to attack me because of the way I feel about that? Oh, goodness. Bodyguards! They must be minimalist. I, for one, am not much of a minimalist. Minimalist. Have you seen my wall behind me? That is not minimalist. Actually, my, my apartment would be a mess to some people, and I remember the first time we set everything up, I, we had a couple of uh, friends over, and they walked into the place. We were like, so sorry for the lack of space and whatnot. There's not a lot of walking room and whatnot. We have a lot of stuff here. And they were like, no, 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 no. Thank God that you're not a minimalist. And I was like, I like that. I have too much of a connection to the material world to be a minimalist. If I were a minimalist, I wouldn't have my printer. I wouldn't have my gaming desktop. I wouldn't have literally at least 100 board games sitting in a little cube thing over there. Oh. I'm the kind of person who can't just stick with one thing all the time, whether that be a particular style or a particular object, and I feel like minimalism just doesn't suit me as a person. To each their own, obviously, and if you were a minimalist, I'd love to know what it's like. I would love to know what it's like. I'd, li I'd love to have that perspective. PewDiePie's a minimalist? Really? I don't know too much about him as a person, so I, I mean, I would doubt just because of the particular personality that he's a minimalist, but I believe you. I believe you. I suppose there are also different levels of minimalism. I suppose that there are like the extreme minimalists who are just like, I have my bathroom and the toilet, I have my shower, I have a kitchen, and I only have the ingredients for what I know I eat, and that is sandwiches and always, always sandwiches. And for that, you know what? Minimalism, that's, that's probably, I'd say, maybe the more extreme side of things but i am more than sure that there are people who fall in the middle and those who call themselves minimalist are probably not 
at the end of that extreme. Otherwise, you know, you'd be pigeonholing yourself. It's like people who are just like, oh, you know, like, I am a vegetarian. You can call yourself a vegetarian if you meet, eat meat every once in a while, I would think. But, like, some people are, like, hardcore. Like, I only eat greens only. That's it. And I would say that that's, like, the extreme pair of things. But, uh, apparently his closet is, like, four shirts, two pairs of pants, and a pair of sweatpants. All right. I dig that. See, I, I need, I need more options. I, I mean, it, don't get me wrong. If I could only exist in this world with a nice, like, a tight pair of pants, pair of sweatpants, my ducky shirt, and my Hawaiian shirt, I think I'd be pretty damn happy. But, like, what about for formal wear? Like, I, I, I can, my mind can just keep thinking of many different things that I would need different types of outfits for, and that's why I'm not a minimalist. But, dude, if it works for PewDiePie, nice. He's a better example of a minimalist than I would be. And for that, I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty, pretty cool. I gotta say, there's a certain level of, like, I guess it must be self-control that you must have to be a minimalist or things like that. Or, I mean, not even just a minimalist, but, like, say, vegetarian or a vegan. You gotta have some level of self-control for that. Like, good for you. Good for you. You have that, you have that willpower and your motivation to be able to do that for yourself. And I'm sure you have your reasons for it. I wouldn't do it myself. But the fact that you do shouldn't, the fact that I don't shouldn't be a reason that you shouldn't, you know? It's cool nonetheless, and you should be totally proud of that for whatever it is that you do. Unless... It's hurting you. I think that's one exception where I might I might fight you on that. If what you're doing is actually hurting you in some way, then maybe you know what? There's a maybe there's a different conversation to be had about that. And the conversation wouldn't be, yo, stop what you're doing, it's killing you. It would be maybe do less of what you're doing. Keep well with it, but also add something else in addition to it to make sure that you're not like hurting yourself. Um yeah, like, like I, I think one of the most important things that I can that I can think of is I, I mentioned before. I like to make cocktails, and some people are very, very averse to alcohol in general. And I get that. One of my closest friends is very, very averse. He's like, I don't, I don't like alcohol. And you know, he was he kind of grew up in a family where alcohol was a bit of an issue. And I totally understand that. My view on the matter is it should be done in moderation. If it's hurting you, then no, like cut it maybe take a drink less maybe just limit yourself or something like that you don't necessarily have to cut it cold turkey but everything in moderation i think has its place and that's what i like that's what i hope to hold myself towards and to be able to let other people know as well like the the idea is like for example making a lot of cocktails on camera is not the point to get drunk that's really not the point the point is i want to i, I want to find out these new cocktails and I want to make a few of them, I want to share them with people. And the only way to do- I don't have a lot of time to do that, like, a drink a day. So I do a few of them in a single day, and then that's pretty much what I do. I don't really drink throughout the rest of the week unless I have a particular idea for it. And I wouldn't consider that- I wouldn't consider that binging because- I mean, technically it is a binge, but it's not like an unhealthy one, right? If I were doing, like, ten drinks in one night, which sometimes happens, but that doesn't happen often. It's it's the whole moderation aspect of things. But yeah. And yeah, you could be totally fine with drinking on occasion. There are reasons, I think, like, if, you, look, if you're going out to a bar with your buddies, maybe you could spare yourself a beer or something. I totally understand that. If you're going to a party and there's a reason to celebrate and somebody's got a nice wine that they bought and wanted to share with their friends, why not take a sip, you know? You might not even like it, but just taking a sip at least exposes you to something like that. But yeah, I totally understand that too. I don't like the feeling, that's the thing. I don't like the feeling of blacking out. I don't like that. I have techniques that I use to make sure that I do not black out. For example, lots and lots and lots and lots of water. Lots and lots of water prevents the hangover and lots of food beforehand prevents the blacking out. As well as not drinking it all in one go, drinking it over the course of a couple of hours so that, you know, my body has time to process all the toxins that I'm putting into it. Like that, I think, if you got if you got a method that works for you, then you got a method that works for you. I personally enjoy the feeling of being a little a little weightless, being a little tipsy. I think that's a really cool feeling. I feel like I can get a lot of things done when I'm in that point. I don't use that as a tool. Like I am not going to have a drink or two to be able to get my work done, because then I'm using it as a tool for something, and something just doesn't it doesn't rub me the right way about that. But there's a certain side effect of it that I'm not totally bad with. I'm not totally averse for it, and I don't feel that it's hurting me. So, in my case, it's okay. But if you're to, if, if you're a person who feels super uncomfortable with being tipsy, by the way, Anna is one of those people. 
Anna does not like the feeling of being tipsy. It makes her feel very uncomfortable. And for that, I say, no problem. Maybe give you something, maybe give you a mocktail if you want to keep on drinking with us. Maybe you take something that's a little more less OEBV than something that I would be drinking. Maybe just don't drink at all. I get that. Whatever your version of having a good time is, I get that. And of course, we all have our vices. Yo, what are you? You're big and beefy. I'm going to fight you. And everyone's got their vices. Yo, va if vaping is your vice, vice, smoking the herb is your vice. Hey, you want to you wanna take a toke? That's your choice. Enjoy the show. I think there's a song that I've listened to by a band named AJR, which puts that very well. And that song is called, I Didn't Smoke No Grass Today. And the chorus of that goes something like, I didn't smoke no grass today. But that's because I'm the one on stage. So who am I to take away? What makes you feel this great? If you want to hit, that's your choice. Enjoy the show. I totally get that. I'd be lying if I said I haven't enjoyed that vice upon occasion. I haven't done it recently because the last time I did was a little... It was uncomfortable. It was uncomfortable. And I haven't gone back to it since then because I'm kind of afraid to go back to something like that. It's what you call in the, in the, in the, in the community a bad trip. And I had a bad trip, and that's turned me off from it for a little while. Also, like, I have a certain group of people that I would hang with who'd be totally into that and are very accepting about it and are very willing to share what they've got. And I haven't been able to hang out with them because of everything going on, so I just haven't had a reason to. Plus, another thing, Anna doesn't like the smell of it. She doesn't like the, the smell of cigarettes and stuff like that. So also, I coexist in the same abode as her. That's another reason why I love Like, uh, I, I, have a fr I have a buddy of mine who is off serving our, our country. And so he came by before he went off and he got stationed. He kind of came by. We hang out with a couple of friends. We grabbed a couple of cigars and we just enjoyed a couple of cigars on the steps of Philadelphia. It was a fun time. I don't do that all the time. And some people are totally averse to that. I understand. I totally get that. But everything, I keep coming back to the same thing. If it's all about moderation, if you're not hurting yourself, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of studies that show smoking will hurt you anyway. But you know, we're here for a short time. We're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time. That's my personal philosophy on the matter. So, you know, I hung out with him. We smoked a bit. We said goodbye. He left. I haven't smoked since then. It's I mean, more of a social thing, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the, the THA cartridges as well. I had, I think, the first time that I ever did... I've, done, I've tried the THC cartridges before, and uh, that's with that particular group of people who happen to have some of those. Like, I don't have one of those myself because why would I need it? I don't use it all the time. It just seems like, you know, it's, it's, there's no place in it. In, there's no place for it in my particular collection because I just wouldn't use it as much. Um, but so, yes, this is your... If I may recollect a story of a fraternity party. I'm a part of a fraternity, by the way. I'm a, pr I'm a proud Theta Chi, and we had parties. We had parties. Fun, fun parties. Fun, safe parties in our fraternity house. I loved it. Um, but so, I remember one time. First, I was serving drinks downstairs. Then... My mind memory went blank. I woke up upstairs and I had a THC pen in my mouth and I was having a beautiful conversation about God knows what. And then I woke up again and I was in my bed and I didn't hurt at all. And it felt wonderful, but I didn't remember most of that night. And I learned something from it. Maybe you shouldn't mix alcohol and hallucinatory substances. Although everything in moderation, you want to hit, you want to drink, that's your choice. Oh, and I see. Neko, you've got... That makes sense. You've got the ability to do so because of the epilepsy. I completely understand that. Supposedly, I did a little research a little while ago. Apparently, here in the great state of Pennsylvania, I could technically get a card because I suffer from something called acid reflux. Basically, I have a little... You have sphincters all over your body. They are basically just kind of orifices that can open and close inside of your body. There's one of those at the bottom of your food pipe your esophagus, and if it's weakened because of things, like if you, uh, coffee weakens it, uh, chocolate weakens it, and when it gets weakened, your stomach acid can sometimes come back up into, um, the stomach acid can come back into your throat, it can cause a burning sensation that feels very akin to heartburn, and so the acid reflux causes my gastroesophageal reflux disorder, which is called GERD, that's a little backstory on me. I suffer from that stuff, and it makes me feel very uncomfortable. I take some stuff for it, but technically, I believe, the Pennsylvania government will e issue me a card for THC to be able to numb that down, because I will admit, on occasions where I have felt very, very burny, very, very heartburny, 
I went downstairs, or while I was still living with my fraternity bros, I went downstairs, had a couple of hits, came back upstairs, and I felt wonderful. Not high or anything, I just, I could not feel the burn. I knew the burn was there, but I could not feel it. And it was, it was wonderful. It was very relaxing. I didn't have to deal with that. So that would be a reason for it. But I have something else already. I have uh, pills that I'm taking that I got for my, not the, the thing down here, the, the sphincter below the esophagus. It's for the stomach acid. And that's called omeprazole is the particular medication that I'm on. And that quells my stomach acid. So instead of preventing the acid from coming up, it makes the acid, uh, it makes the enzymes or something in my stomach less likely pr to produce that acid. So instead of making sure the acid doesn't come up, it just has less of the acid, which makes it hurts less, less. And it works out for me. If that's a particular solution, though, it's not, it's not a cure-all. So there's a, that's the thing with pharmaceuticals and medications. They're not always going to work the entire time and i'm okay with that i do other things as well to try to quell that particular affliction of my life i found that tea is incredibly useful uh ginger ginger tea especially i think is extremely useful for uh esophageal reflux disorder it's good have some of that in the morning every once in a while yeah glad that we've got that solution ah absolutely epilepsy.com yeah i'll be able to sure to give that a read Make sure to read that. Uh, let me defeat these guys, and then I like to have my note cards on standby. Oh, my picture fell. My picture fell. I like to have my note cards on standby to be able to collect my thoughts after the fact. Because I, I can tell you, yeah, 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 I'll check that out. I'll check that out. And I may completely forget about it. But if I write it down, there is a reminder after the fact to tell me, like, hey, you, you know what? I'm always ready. You, can you can learn about this later if you wanted to. And I will. And I got that. This is the proof. It's on my card. And it sits right here. Right within my line of sight to make sure that I look up on that stuff later. There's another thing. I try I try to... Because that's the thing. Who knows what I might learn from people who are popping by. And if I... Like, if I just say, yeah, 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 whatever, to, to whatever it is you're saying, for, like, on the one side, you may come back later and be like, hey, did you learn something? And in that awkward situation, I'd be like, oh, t funny story. I didn't actually look into it. Oops. Which, if I were the one suggesting, I'd feel like, wow, you didn't you didn't care at all. I mean, I'm, that person may actually have forgotten. And if that is the case, well, all right. But I can't tell. I, bar I barely know who you are as the streamer. So I may not, I may think immediately, yeah, you just forgot about me. I'm not that important. And I don't, I don't want... I mean, I, I don't. I can't necessarily stop it. But I don't want anyone to feel like you're not being paid attention to. I like. I really like the idea of. I was saying before, it feels really, really good to be acknowledged. It does. It feels really good to be acknowledged. It feels really nice to know that if I say something into the void, that it's not actually a void. There's other people out there who might sh shout back, and I like that. I'll admit too, like you know. I guess when you stream, when you do any type of thing, you try to emulate those who came before you. And there are a lot of people that I, I think I see on the internet who are content creators and whatnot. And I, um, I kind of try to emulate what they do. But there's one thing that I see in a lot of the big ones. And it's like, there are so many people chatting all the time. And it seems that most, if not all of the messages get completely ignored. I'm not at that point yet, and I'm not sure if I'll ever make it to that point where the chat messages will come faster than I can actually respond to them. But I wonder if I could create it. Like, there, there's ways. Whenever there's a problem, there is a person who creates the solution. And I wonder if there is a solution for that. I mean, there technically is a solution. You could always turn on slow mode. But, like, even if slow mode is on, maybe that'll discourage you from saying anything. I don't know. I don't know. And I mean, don't get me wrong, there are people out there, like myself often of the time, who are lurkers. You just kind of hang around and you just hang around, you enjoy the show. And I get that. And you need to say anything. I'm not trying to fix you. You don't need to be, you don't need to be fixed. I am one of you. If somebody, listen, if somebody, if some host is going to say, hey, my lurkers, why don't you say something? I haven't heard from you today. I'm going to be like, yeah, that just gave me an even bigger reason not to say anything. Because that's just my personality in general. If you're going to like prompt me to do something... I probably won't. It's like it's like uh, it's like you walk around the streets and you see the signs for, come to the local county fair. You're gonna love coming to the local county fair because you love the local county fair. And if I don't see like the local county fair is doing it, like like if I don't see funnel cake on that advertisement, I have no reason to go to that fair. 
I have no reason to go to that fair because I have no guarantee that there's funnel cake, and I like I like funnel cakes at the fairs. Now, if I keep seeing those signs everywhere, all over the place. You want to come to the fair? Yes, you do want to come to the fair. Oh, you thought you didn't want to come to the fair? Well, you're gonna come to the fair. I'm just like, listen, you have just cemented the fact that I am not coming to your fair because you bothered me so much about it. I was enjoying my little space over here. I was enjoying my little bubble that I was existing in, and you you popped my bubble. Or you tried to pop my bubble. And I like my bubble. So don't pop my bubble. I don't like that. Don't get me wrong. If I may say as well, while I am the one here hosting for everybody else, that bubble does not exist. That bubble does not exist here. So if you feel... I don't know. if I don't, I don't, I don't know if anybody out there is totally into that. But if anybody feels like uh, he's not, not going to pay attention, he doesn't care, um, I say no. And even if you have even the slightest reason to say literally whatever you want, my mind is running literally all the time. There are words that I could say on camera because I just can. Like gobbledygook. That's a funny word. Why did I say it? I have no reason. It just popped out of my head. That's why I said it. Do you have reason enough to say something? I encourage you to do so. I am not going to make you. I am not here to force you to do anything. You want to hit? That's your choice. You want to speak? That's your choice totally okay so long as and i'll come back to it again so long as what you do isn't going to hurt somebody else i mean if you're trying to hurt me bring it on but that's that's the show here but please don't hurt the audio please don't hurt the other audience members if you do i will intervene i will do something about that because that is not the type of environment that i that i accept around here there's no good good vibes morning times and good vibes well it's afternoon times now but Oh, exploding barrels. Look at that. Anyway. Anyway, I, I digress. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's my spiel on that. And unfortunately, you have to go. No, don't worry, Neko. You got things that you've got to do in your life, and I totally understand that. I hope whatever it is that you are doing is fantastic. If it's work again, best of luck with that. The service industry is a bitch. I get it. Uh, this is my salute to you in hopes that it's not as bad as it could be. It could always be worse, and I hope that it isn't as bad as it needs to, as it can be. Best of luck to you. Oh, new job! Oh my god. Well, well, you you gotta go. So you can you can talk to me about it later if you'd like to. I don't want to force you. I don't want to make you late for anything. But uh, if you feel like sharing, by all means, share. Clothing boutique. Ah, nice. I guess it's technically still service. It's not like it's not like serving tables and whatnot, and not working. Well, that's okay. Whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is. Okay, I gotta, oh, I gotta shoot these barrels. It's the day off. Hey, no problem. Enjoy your day off. I like my days off. Days off are fun. You gotta have that. Relaxation is all a part of the process. I'd say that relaxation, dare I say, is a part of the workflow. If you're not, if you're not taking the time to yourself, you could be. That's what I think, at least. This is kind of my form of relaxation. I don't know. It's, it's like. It's exhausting, don't get me wrong. Like, talking for hours straight is exhausting. And I totally get that. But, um, it's enjoyable. I shall have fun and I shall take care. Thanks so much. And I will definitely make sure that Anna knows. I will, at the very least, mention to Anna. Yeah, Neko knows about Burning Soul Worker now. So I will definitely mention that. The Queen will really have the regards. Yeah, I'll, I'll pop on. Maybe if you're streaming by the time I end this, I'll, I'll pop a raid in. I'll hang around for a bit and then continue on later for the cocktail time. Yeah, I'll pop in. If, if I can. It depends on the timing. I promise I will if I can. And that's that's where I get... That's all I'll leave that. Let's go... Where's my other commission quest? There we go. We gotta go this way. Got to talk to Liu Su, the tea company. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're very, very welcome. More treasure orders. I like that. I like that. I like popping in to see people do, doing what they're doing. If I can support if I can support the community he seems to support me in any way shape or form I would love to do that I I like doing that I like the, the good vibes good vibes and smiles all around at the very least I hope that what I do doesn't make you feel negative and if it does I have no way of knowing unless somebody tells me so pop pop me a message say something be like yo what you said was kind of hurtful and and I, and I don't I don't really appreciate that and I'll listen. I'll listen. Honestly, it depends on what it is. Like, if I say, like, 
yo, bananas belong on peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and that, like, hurts you in some way, then, well, that's, that's my opinion, so I'm gonna stick to that and be like, that's just a difference of opinion. That's all right. But if, like, you know, I, I don't need to go into the spiel about it all, but, like, if there's, if there's any negative vibes, I'd love to know about it. Hi, bye, you're in lab. Hope everything is well. It is well, Anna. The queen has popped in chat for just a little bit. Just a little bit. You just, by the way, you just, if you're still listening, you just missed Neko. She says hi. She says very hi. Alright, that sounded weird. She says hi very much. Not very high. That's, I don't know about that. Mm, but maybe that's the relaxation. Mm. That's certainly a way to relax. Nice. Dope. Dope means, hey there guys, what's going on? A little uh, crystal over here. Lots of whack, and then I don't know. Poof. Gonna poof on like that. Swing, swing, swing around. Swing, swing, swing around. Ding, 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 Maybe it is terrifying. So be it. I'd love to see that for myself. Chest, 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 chest. Chest, 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 chest. Continuing on my way to Liwe Harbor. Let's break that. Get some iron chunks. Chunkin! Pumpkin chunkin! In October, where you build giant catapults to... Or trebuchets, or what have you. To sling pumpkins, or pumpkins, as far as you possibly can. That's a lot of physics and mechanics right there. Trebuchet, catapult, it's cool stuff. I don't think I'd want to build one myself. I don't think I have the need to have that many. I don't feel like I have the need to have this giant tool to sling pumpkins. Ooh, what's this over here? This looks pretty cool. Less investigate. Oh, this is something. What's behind the rock wall? A chest. Lovely. Oops, stop it. Don't don't climb. Don't climb unless I tell you to climb there, Jungling. I gotta say, I've been using these new I've been using these new uh, joystick covers for a little while now. Uh, cause I just got them shipped in today because the other ones were breaking. Not bad. They're like they feel really loose. But the fact that they're loose allows... Because the biggest problem that I had was I would push the controller in a particular direction and apparently that would weigh down on the rubber or something. And it doesn't really do that. Uh, pushing on it kind of, because it's so loose, kind of allows for the joystick to move along with the cover. And it, it works. It hasn't fallen off yet and it's not uncomfortable at all. So, uh, yeah, what is it? Uh, Fosmon. Fosmon. Controller joystick covers. Not sponsored or anything. Just a recommendation. I bought them on Amazon. It was the first ones I found, and they were the cheapest. So, uh, I did that. And they're blue. I got them in the blue color, because blue's my favorite color. If I light up my entire, uh... If I light up my entire controller, it's very blue. Oh, whoops. It's very blue. And I like the blue. Blue is my favorite normal color. If blue can be considered a normal color. Alright, so these are all... Like that. Dard. Oh, I feel like I need Fire Arrow Girl. Let's see about Fire Arrow Girl. Amber! Awaken! Excuse me. Let anyone who follows in the footsteps of the immortals kowtow before the treasure's gate. I'm... I'm sorry? Is there a particular order? Maybe there's a particular order. Interesting. Or maybe it's got to do with... They all went out. Did we approach it wrong? Oh. Okay, what did it say again? It says... Let anyone who follows in the footsteps of the immortals... Kowtow before the treasure's gate. The steps of the immortals. I see... I see three broken pillars and three bigger pillars. So... 
Maybe just the top pillar pillars. If not, I might investigate what's on top of the pillars. There might be something up there. Maybe a numbering system. Hey, uh, hey look at that. I guess my interpretation was totally correct. Love it when that happens. Eh, I don't want to get ready. I want to I switch my characters. I've, I've had a... Hidden Palace of... What was it? What was it? I didn't read it. I didn't, I didn't catch it. What is it? Hidden Palace of Guizhang Formula. Nice. Sailor Trail Champion. Liking that. The footsteps of Heaven's Door. Very Reach the very top of Qingyun Peak. I guess I did that. That's pretty cool. Getting all these Primo Gems. Oh, I have all these Primo Gems. You know what I should do? I think it's wishing time. Maybe, oh, maybe not. Not wishing time just yet. We're getting there, though. Uh, no. Want the party. Party, party, party. We're gonna have a party. Party, party, party. You know you want a party. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Let's talk about Beto and Noel and Shanglin and Sucrose. What do we got over here? Unlock the door! Oh, that's the, that's the thing. Can I... Let's, let's see. What's in here? Hidden. Is this miss? Is this a mission thing where Ooh, current party lower than the expected level? I could use with a little bit of ice in here. This is the realm of clouds, Guizhong. Its former ruler acquired several ancient and evil artifacts during her research into mechanics. The Adepti created this realm to contain them. Ooh. Well, I'm definitely gonna give it a shot because I'm just that kind of guy who walks into things woefully unprepared. Let's switch out, uh, what were the recommended elephant? elements? Elephants? Elements. Recommended, it needs, it wants ice as well, some cryo. But Noelle's my girl for the heals, but I guess I can do without it. So I'll just be, I will be relying upon my healing items for this particular venture. Let's switch you out and let's put Chung Yun into the mix. Chang Yun, Chang Yun, he's our man. If he can't do it, nobody can. Can I level you up? Can I level you up, Chang Yun? I can ascend, but I don't have the right materials. And you drop from where do you drop from? Cryo Regispines. Nice. Hmm. <gasps> you had a popsicle. I just noticed you had a popsicle. Nice. We got some popsicles over here. Maybe I'll grab some for my uh my lunch. But for now, no one. Oh, goodness. I can't see the ground. Is there ground? Awaken. Awaken. Awaken, I say. Yes. Let's go with this. Nice, nice. Oh, come on, get some fire on you. Yeah, get some fire on you. Let's do that, too. Everybody gets some of it. Oh, you're, you're hitting me. Oh, you're hitting me. Whoa, that's a lot of hits. No, oh my god. I should, um, I should get, uh, I should get a, oh, don't, don't touch. Please don't touch. I did say woefully unprepared. I, I did mention that. All right, let's, um, let's do some defense then. Defense, healing effects by that. Um, more defense stuff. This is all defense events stuff. Hmm. There's no elements here, so I uh, I don't won't I won't do any elemental resistances yet. But I know what I will do. I increase my attack members and crit rate. Maybe some more of them. Who knows? Get some jellies in your system. Eat some of those jellies. I'm sure you'll feel just fine. Just fine. Just fine. All right. Well, I I did at least some damage on that other one. Oh goodness. Oh no. Oh no. Please just swirl. Oh. Oh dear. Mm. Yeah, sleep on it. Recover. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, don't hit me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow, that is incredible. Hmm. That's pretty cool. I'll just switch to a different character. Wow. 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 Hmm. Alrighty, then. I will not be the first to admit this is not going well. All right, Beto, you got it. You, I, I want to say I believe in you, but that'd be lying. What about Sucrose? Sucrose, my girl? Come on, you got it. Come on, 
even survive like for no my research has failed. I think we've all learned a lesson here today. Retry uh, no sir. No thank you. I'll just I'll just continue with my commission quests. Just as it was all intended. Oh well. Alrighty then. Let's um party set up. Let's put Noel back in the mix. Oh, I interrupted it. I tend to do that sometimes. I tend to do that every once in a while. Let's switch you out. Switch you out for oh, where's Noel on this list? There you are. There you How are. Exciting. exciting indeed. I'm glad you're excited because I'm like I'm like mildly enthused. But but if you're excited, then perfect. Oh, I see bubbles over there. Let's go back to Venti. Who's got the fancy fancy uh, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? Bow and arrow. Because it's a bow that shoots arrows. That's that's why we call it that. Why how could I forget? You going over here? Got your one. Got your two. Got your three. Oh, so close. Oh, there we go. Loving that. Quick and easy. Snap. Kind of like that. Hmm. I'm getting a lot of... Seems to get a lot of emails coming in. My phone's over here. Phone should be over here. There we go. Now I can see it. <gasps> get the lotus head. Get the lotus head. Got the lotus head. Nice. Nice. And I will continue on to Leeway Harbor. It's very difficult to traverse the lands of Leeway because of all the mountains and whatnot. But that doesn't make it any less fun. It actually makes it more fun. I discover so many new secrets along the way. Oh, and it appears that there's another quest over here too. Who could it possibly be? I hope it's not that hide-and-seek guy again. I'll admit, didn't like that. <gasps> bamboo! I'm gonna bite some bamboo! Collect some bamboos! Oh, can I break these little rock pillars? I didn't know that I could do that. Oh, well, now I know. Bamboo! Bamboo, bamboo, bamboo! Everybody's got bamboo! I'm gonna use it to build a beautiful house, maybe. I guess if I make my way to Leeway Harbor, maybe I'll be able to talk to somebody about the, the house. Maybe there's a house mission that I can talk to somebody about. You know what? If I were to get a house, definitely Leeway. Maybe somewhere in the mountains. Oh, that'd be so I've always loved the rusticness of nature, and I feel like the mountains are just a perfect touch to that. My parents' house in the beautiful grassy state of New Jersey, United States of America, is pretty much in the middle of a forest. It's great. There's a highway, you know, a few meters above us, but it doesn't, it, I love it. It's so, it's so rustic. I like it. I loved growing up there. Now I live in the city, and the city's cool too. Uh, I, I can walk to pretty much anywhere I need to in the city, which I couldn't do back at home, but, you know, different benefits. There's no smell of, like, nature around here. It just smells like city. If only I could eat it again. It was so good. Eat what? Oh, a traveler. When I was young, I used to travel all over the place. What I loved most about traveling was getting to try all the different foods. After eating my way across the continent, I returned to Liwe and opened my restaurant. Emerald Maple, maybe you've heard of it. But I opened it in hopes I could recreate the flavors of my travels. But there's one dish I never quite remember the name of. Just how can I recreate that flavor? I get it. All I remember is what a sweet, it was a sweet, fragrant dish. The sheer look of it was enough to get me drooling at the mouth. And to top it all off, oh, it was nutritious too. The ingredients are a lot of fowl. Some sweet flowers. It's called uh, Sweetened Mistress or something like that. If you'd be able to make one for me, oh, I'd be so forever grateful. Traveler, over to you. All right. Give Sweetened Mistress to you. Is there a cooking thing over here? Yeah, all right. It requires a lot of fowl. Uh, sweetened Mistress? Sweetened Mistress? Sweet Madame? Sweet Madame? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's the Sweet Madame. Yes, I found it. Give it here. Yeah, I do. There you go, buddy. I hope you enjoy that. 
Ah, yes, this is the one. Oh, okay. Is that it? Thank you ever so much. Please take this for your trouble, traveler. Primo gems. The Zhang Yun Chop Suey. More recipes. I like that. Always looking for more recipes to try. No items. What is this? Furnishings. Oh, for my house. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm going to have all the furnishings. Well, maybe not. Dummy? Your name's actually Dummy? Oh my, a guest. How rare. Rare? <laughs> we don't get many of you around these parts. These parts being what they are, of course. Very mountainy. Very, uh, you get the message. I mean, aren't you concerned that we might be some sort of illegal establishment? Ha! I kid. I kid. I jest. Please don't tell the boss that I'm scaring customers away again. All right. Hi, Bluffy. Oh, yes. Hello. Do you need something? Oh, right. Still on the clock. Oh, apologies. What might be required, dear guests? Um, what's on your mind? I just want to know what's on that mind of yours, that little noggin. I was just spacing out for a moment. Thank you for your concern. Honestly, I have another reason for doing this job. I'm looking for one of those meetings you read about in the books. A romantic coincidence. Oh, boy. A homely maid suddenly whisked off her feet by a dashing young rogue, making a secret promise by the Bishui River. <laughs> Perhaps it's a slow business here, it's just my luck, but it seems that such things could just never happen to me. <sighs> I was wondering if I could just give up, find someone familiar to settle down with. I can't just keep waiting like this forever. Alright. I mean, you're, you're awaiting on chance, so... You expecting the outcome to be in your favor is like gambling. And you know what? I wish you the best of luck there, dear Bluffy. Perhaps your Prince Charming, Princess Charming, Royal Charming, will find you at some point. Let's go over here now, onward to the harbor. If I just keep walking in this direction, I'll be okay. Wait, I just learned that I can break these. Break. 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 Chest? Mm, I'm too good. I'm figuring out your puzzles, Tivet. I'll figure you, figure you out more, I bet. Hi, Uncle Louie. Liu? Liu. Uncle Liu. Hello, youngster. What you doing? Ah, just reminiscing. Once you reach my age, you find that remembering the past is more enjoyable than contemplating the future. Well, the future for you is probably death. So... For instance, these days I keep finding myself thinking back to the way my next-door neighbor, Shushi, used to look in the prime of her youth. Oh, all the way I'd crouch behind the window and peek out at her. Sometimes she'd see me even show me a smile sometimes. Boy, I'll never forget that smile. The dimples on her cheeks, the look in her eyes like her smile was for me and me alone. And where did it go from there? Where did it go? What on earth do you mean? You don't seriously think I told her the way I felt? Why would I do that? What's wrong with you? You honestly think a guy should just straight up tell a girl how they feel? I, I would never. <laughs> Kids these days. Where's your sense of shame? Where's your sense of shame? You have to play the game with them. You have to leave them on. It's like a delicate game of cat and mouse and... Bro, that's old way thinking. Just tell her how you feel, dude. The worst that happens is she says no. The best that happens is she say yes? Or, or, no, but you must prove yourself to be worthy. And then you can be like, maybe next time. I'm, I'm more of the forward approach. That's just my opinion. If you got a different choice, then awesome. I hope it works out for you. My message, my, my way worked out for me, so. I can only say that. I can only state the facts. It worked out for me so far. Then again, I have a fiance now, and we've almost been together for seven years, so. Hopefully it continues to work that way for a long while after that. Hi, Shushi. Hello there, can I interest you in lovely... You know what? Scrap that. If there's something you want, you let me know. I'm not, I'm done with the whole, you know... What do you want? Uh, what are you waiting for a customer? A customer, you say? Uh, you don't have to worry about customers. They'll always show up eventually. But some people, some people keep you waiting a whole lifetime. <laughs> you mean kind of like... That old man who seems to have... Are you below the... There you are. That old man over there? Are you two... You two, uh... You two, uh... You interested in each other? You like like each other? Tell me about your shop. Well, for starters, this whole area seems very little traffic. I don't sell a lot, but that doesn't bother me. In fact, I reached retirement age a long while ago. 
the only reason I'm still here is that I'm waiting for someone. I've already waited most of my life, so what difference does it make a few more days? Though I'll probably be dead or buried by the time that silly fool comes with senses. <laughs> oh. Oh my. Yo, buddy. I, I gotta bring this message back to you, buddy. I think I think your girl wants you to say something to her. Just saying. Hey, youngster, what can I do for you? I guess there are no other options. What it takes to be an observer in this world. I can't do anything about this. I want to, but I can't. I am merely an observer. I cannot... I, I as the main character, dare not dabble in the prospects of love between two grown individuals. It's their business. Who am I to interrupt? Who am I? Who am I to meddle around the concepts of love? Far be it from me, my friends. Far be it from me. I shan't meddle around where it's not my business, but if you need advice... I mean, I'm willing to talk about things. That's why I always tag these things. Ask me anything. I don't care what it is. Whatever you want. Somebody asked me one time on stream if I was a Reddit user who was trying to have sex with a dog for the first time, and my prompt response was, no, I barely post things on Reddit. I'm a lurker. Remember? They didn't ask any further questions. So, uh, I feel like that was satisfactory. The, the answer was satisfactory enough for the conversation at hand. And, um, maybe he'll find who he's looking for. Maybe he'll find the person who feels that way about their dog. Um, I feel bad for them because that kind of goes against all moral nature. At least my moral compass. But, uh, who am I to tell you to not do what you love? I guess. Anyway, I digress. Different topic. Hey, we're at the harbor. Maybe there's somebody I can talk to about the housing here. As I, um, Chop down some more trees. Hi there, tree. Tree? Tree. What kind of tree are you? Oh. I've knocked you down. There was no wood to speak of. What about that big old tree down there? Looks like a big old oak tree. What kind of treasures do you have for me, dear oak tree? Maybe? Maybe? Or the big ones maybe don't drop anything. The big ones don't seem to drop anything. Hmm. Oh. This tree looks like it's going to drop something. See, now I'm going to wind up whacking every tree that I see, expecting to get logs from it. Because I'm like, I must have all the trees. I must have all the logs. This one's dropping logs. I don't like that. Sandbearer. Timber from the sandberry tree. If I just keep hitting, will this eventually run out? I wonder. If I just keep doing that. Yeah, I guess there's only a certain am amount of wood to come from a tree. No problem. That just means I have to attack every single piece of wood I can find. Every single one. Slash, slash, slash. Whack them. I'll spear them. I'll whack them. I'll sword them. I'll bait, uh, debate club them. You get it all here. We provide it all. Or uh, maybe I'll uh, swirl you. I wonder if I swirl a tree. That'll drop wood. Only one way to find out, really. Alright, so now that I'm around here, let's, uh, let's take a look around. Who got things going on today? A Chang Chang. I still have to give you the, uh, give that letter to your brother over on the pirate ship. Um. Well, let's do this first. Oh, you seem to have a quest for me. Hey, buddy. What do you got? Hi there, nervous Anne, maritime authority administrator. It never rains, but it pours. What's the matter? After the huge incident at the right of dissension, the streets have been filling up with Millilith. Oh dear, the tension of the air hangs over, over us like a shroud. Our doors aren't closed, but. You know as well as I do how often, you know, Leeway often does business with other nations and how many people from every nation live in this city. They've brought us prosperity and a fair amount of cultural exchange too, but this incident has caused so many such people to be very ill at ease. I've been making preparations to try and calm people down, but with the situation as it is, I don't know where to begin looking for people good at international relations. Hey, wait a moment. Traveler, you've been to so many different parts of the world already. Haven't you? You must be good at speaking to people from other nations. Could I trouble you, then, to help me calm some of our guests down? Sure. Sure, pal. Thank you, you're a big help. Now I need to go and settle some other matters. Sounds good, pal. Calm Frecky and her brother down. Where are you? It's over there. There's also a thing up there. So let me take care of that first, because it's closer. 
And then I'll calm down dear Frecky. Frecky, Frecky, Freckle. I wonder if Frecky has freckles. Hello, kitty cats! Oh my goodness, there are two of you. Anna and I went on a walk yesterday, and we saw three kitty cats. Two in the windows, and one hanging beneath the car. Hope those kitty cats are okay. Oh, hello. I'm gonna come up here, and then we're gonna, then we're gonna climb this way, and... Yeah, that's gonna work. That's exactly how it's gonna work. Perfection. Let's go up here. Oh, perfect. Ah, jumping children. Cliffhanger. Commission accepted. Cliffhanger. Tell me the tea story. You're the tea master. I've been to you before. I wish I could remember where I got up to. What's wrong? Uh, hello. Are you here for the story session or... Oh, me? Well, I'm a storyteller. I do it to earn a bit of extra spending money. The problem is I tell so many stories and I go back and forth between them so much that I end up getting things a little mixed up. The other day, for instance, one crowd was shouting for the Crux's story, the Wrath of Haishan, while the other crowd kept chanting, We want Ring of Raining Blades! We want Ring of Raining Blades! And don't get me wrong, I can't blame them. Goofball classic, that one. I have to earn a living now, don't I? So I just picked the part I remember best from each story to keep everybody happy. It was, un it was an unexpected hit. Uh, they loved it so much they kept pestering me to tell them the rest of the story. Since I hadn't read either of those books in years, I took around for a while and eventually managed to find them. I've had a look through to refresh my memory. Now I'm almost ready to continue with the story. However, I cannot for the life of me remember where I got up to with either story. Could you ask around in the crowd and see if anybody remembers where I finished last time? Sure. You're a lifesaver. I know it's a pain, but I do that myself would be... But to do that myself would be career suicide for a storyteller. Now I think about it, there are three people you should ask. First is Gentry Maokai, that man has never missed a single session. The second is Fan Airy, who is the boss of this tea shop. And the third is Miss Zhang Zhao. I definitely saw her stop and listen for a while last time, but she left before the end, so... You got it! Ask the audience about the people. So I guess I just need to know where they are, right? Ask the audience. Uh, oh, okay, there's a person down here. And I'll talk to you down here. And Oh, you're below. I see, I see. Talk to you below. Oh, you're actually in the square down here. So cool. Don't mind me coming down from the sky. What's up, Zhang Zhou? Zhang Zhou, I think. Oh, I wish I had more free time. Li, li, who, li, li Su? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember now. I was walking past last time he spoke, so I stopped to listen for a bit, and I don't really remember what, but I think the story was called Ring of Raining Blades, or something like that. Anyway, so for whatever reason, the Guha clan is in a real pickle, and this big shot goes to challenge them. I get there well after it started, though, so don't ask me how it got to that point. Anywho, uh, the good guy's about to win, but then, oh no, someone attacks him out of nowhere, so now he's on the back foot. Then I got called back to work. Shame, I'd love to know what happens next. Uh, I wonder where he's going to carry on with the story. Alright. You seem to remember a lot more than I, uh, originally thought that you would. Let's ask somebody else. How about you, Mr. Fan Airy? Airy? This old man's truly sensational. Have you heard about Lee, uh, Lee Su's story before? You mean old man Liu? Oh, the stories he tells are second to none. I went to hear him the last time he spoke. The Wrath of Haishan, it was. He starts off in the middle of this full-blown tempest. Howling winds, crashing waves, thunder and lightning. The lot, the crux, passes on. At the front of the fleet is the flagship, where one person stands strong on the bow, holding themselves up with their sword. It's the captain of the crux. Crux. The captain watches as the billowing waves rise up and blot out the sky, and this enormous shadowy figure rises up, howling from the murky depths of the ocean. And that's where old man Liu stops, and he says all will be revealed in the next chapter. I tell you what, it had better be. It's the mother of all cliffhangers, and he left us hanging for days now. I am definitely looking forward to the next part of old man Liu's story. Well, I'm glad you are, my friend, because I'm about to... Tell him exactly what he forgot about. See, Mr. Storyteller, you have to remember even the... Not only do you have to listen to the words of others to make them feel comfortable and stuff like that. We were talking about this earlier. But you also have to listen to yourself. Which is definitely something that I uh, suffer from in particular. Uh, honestly, I forget half the stuff that comes pouring out of my mouth. It happens. Oh, I guess we're climbing this way. 
cool. Oh, Team Master. Ah, uh, you're back. You're a star. I just can't help the fact that the more stories I tell, the more things I forget. So, did you ask them? Yes. Here's one. Gigantic waves loomed over the fleet as pitch black storm clouds filled the, skies, the skies. The crux had reason to fear, for even though their ships were the finest vessels to ever sail the seas, and even though they had the finest sailors to ever mend their helms, even the largest of ships becomes the playful thing of the ocean, tossed about on the water's surface when Mother Nature unleashes her pent up rage, and when those same waves of wrath meet smaller vessels, they thrust them violently into the watery abyss. But greater trouble still was brewing. From within the towering waves emerged a dark and gargantuan beast with eyes like braziers. The terrifying sailors were rendered helpless, crying out for salvation. Salvation! The Geo Lord, Help us! Help us! Not daring even to look at the beast, for making eye contact would make it that much worse. The horror deep into your eyes. And yet one figure stood fearlessly on the bow of the foremost vessel, steadying themselves with their sword. This heroic figure looked out at the raging seas and the gargantuan beast as it towered like a mountain over the water's surface and wagged their fingers at it, it as they smiled and shouted, Gotcha! You made sure I had to work for it this time, didn't you? Who was this hero? And what was this gargantuan beast? And what was the nature of the enmity between them? Ladies and gentlemen, I trust you all wish to know how the story proceeds. So gather around and let me your ears for all will be revealed in the next chapter. Which I will hand to you now. I will hand to you the next one. Oh, you're still here. <laughs> what did you think? What happens next? <laughs> Both the Wrath of Haishan and Ring of Raining Blades are extremely long texts, you know. I'm not about to spend the next few hours telling you the rest of the stories. If you're interested, come to the sessions in the future. Thanks for your help today. Here, take this for your troubles. I, I hope I'll get to see you at the future sessions, too. Become a storyteller, they said. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> that was pretty memeingful. Commission complete. Do I still have this thing in my inventory, though? Hmm. Yeah, I do. Guess I'll keep that. Guess I'll just uh, keep that on me. Perhaps I'll learn more about the story as time goes on. There was also this other quest that I should also take care of. Uh, where are you now? Where are you now? Oh... Why do adventure uh, talk to Chan Chan? Oh, that's a thing. I guess I have to talk to you too. So uh, let's do that. Ooh, where are you now? You're down there. Oh, wonderful. I will navigate to you. Here I come to save the day. What's up, Chan Chan? Oh, are you a recruit? Are you here to accept commissions? Oh, please. Uh, wait a moment. I'll see what I have here. Speed glider. Outdoor survival experience guide, free climbing instructor wanted. That doesn't sound like the adventurer guilds, dude. I know, and last says so too, but all the adventures I've read about in books were something like this. So if I don't give out these commissions, what should I get out then? Something else, perhaps? What? But isn't that dangerous? I mean, there are a lot of them around Leisha. I missed whatever those words were. Then there are threats to passersby, but normal people don't stand a chance to get them. They might even get hurt. I'll take the task. I'm Mighty Protag. You can trust me with anything. Can you really? Well, all right then, I'll leave it in your hands. I'll go back and discuss uh, appropriate payment for services with Lan. Awesome. Defeat all opponents and avoid the obstacles. Where are you at? You are way off in that direction. Let's do a different quest, something a little more close to home. Uh, calm Freaky and her brothers down. That's the one I gotta do. That'll give me adventure experience. That's what I should do. Just quests. Quests, 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 quests. If I just keep doing more quests, my adventure rank will eventually increase. That's the idea, right? That's the idea. Uh. Water, 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 water. Uh. The coffee is used as a method to wake me up in the morning, but it kind of dries out my everything. The, me the melons are for snacks, and the water is to keep me hydrated. And that's always good. Sister, we should head back to the mo to Mondstadt. Oh, come on now. Just don't eat any Zhang Yun chop suey next time. <laughs> no, I wasn't talking about that. I mean, maybe I was a bit... But the main thing is what happened at the Rite of Dissension. Just that, that thing about it, like, about Sis, like... That was one of those big ceremonies the church holds in, like, Lord Barbados' honor. But, like, if something like that could happen during such a ceremony, nowhere in Leeway is safe. Like, uh, we, we should head back to Mondstadt post-haste. Uh, nah, dude, it's safe. You see, Jerry? I'm I'm not the only one saying it. Like, there's all this... Ah, wait, you're, you're the honorary knight. 
I heard of you. You took out Storm Terror. See, Jerry? Take it from the honorary knight. Lee was a safe place, so let's continue to enjoy our pursuit of gourmet food in peace. Even if you say so. Oh, whatever. Come on, Leeway. It's full of famous cuisine. You just don't have to... You just haven't found one that suits your preferences yet. I'm sure that they call... They, that thing they call jade parcels will be more to your tastes. Let's go try that next. But we Liwe in such a state. Where will we go to find someone who'll make this dish? I'll do it. Really? Wow. Huh. I never knew about the honorary knight was a person with so many talents, too. We'll be counting on you, then. Come on, Jerry. Cheer up. Our gourmet journey isn't about to end here. So, uh... Here. There you go. Jade parcels? Here you go. Wow! Jade parcels! Yum! You're welcome. Now I gotta calm down Ivanovich. Ivanovich! Let's go talk to Ivanovich! Oh, there's somebody else who has a quest over here, too. Take a look at that. Take a look, see. Hi, Lan. Oh, seems like nobody can get to the bottom of it. Bottom of what? The clue! Uh, perhaps rumor is better word. A rumor about treasure. There's an adventurer who said that he found a clue to treasure in the vicinity of Tangshui Valley, but he tried everything and simply couldn't locate the treasure. In the end, he wound up giving up the look and the search, but it reported to the guild instead, and now the guild's offering a reward for anybody able to solve this the mystery so-called clue. Any adventurer who wants to give it a go can follow the clue and see where it takes them. If they solve the riddle and find the treasure, well, the guild will offer a reward. But so far, nobody's ever even found a trace of the treasure. I'll do it! I run around all over the place finding magical things and adventures wide. Oh, well, if you think you're up to it, if you really are impressed, there's no harm in giving it a go, so, you know, I'll mark the location mentioned in the clue on the map for you, then you can go take a look. Thanks, Brisku. Um, defeat all opponents? I gotta do that too? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's calm down, Ivanovich. That's, that's still closer to home. Ivanovich, I also have to speak to Miss Yu. So let's do that, because I'm literally right here. You're down here. Miss Lu? Oh, are you who I think you are? Are you the sp are you the, the perfume girl? No, I don't think you are. You scare me. Yeah. Hello, are you interested in doing some work for the Ministry of Civil Affairs? Ministry of Civil Affairs? Yes, the Leeway Ministry of Civil Affairs, of course. My name is Miss Yu, and I'm a research manager with the Ministry of Civil Affairs. By research management, we don't just mean the management of material goods. We're also, we also manage information and human resources. I trust that you, too, understand how important resource management is to a city that prizes commerce as much as Leeway does. Exchanging material for manpower and intelligence and using all three to solve issues, that's our ministry specialty. To put it more plainly, you help us, we pay you, <laughs> that's it. But there are still more details to it than just that, of course. Go ahead, have a look for yourself. You can see what work is available to you right now. Oh, it's the, um, it's the reputation of Liwe. Claim. Claim. Cool. Quests? Claim them all. Claim all the quests. Did I do them already? <laughs> nice. Bounties. Give it to me. Uh, do I already have... Oh, I already currently have a bounty. Ugh. Whatever. How about it? If there's work you're interested in, you can get started right away. I, I did. Yeah, we got that. Yeah, I, I did that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Ooh, excuse me. Condensed resin. What can that do? What can what can condensed resin do? You can hold no more than five at a time. Condensed trees resin that can be used instead of original resin to revitalize petrified trees and ley line blossom to receive greater rewards. Crystal filled with immense energy. Oh, that's pretty cool. So I guess I can use that on a depleted ley line as a way to get more rewards from it. That is really cool like that good to know i don't know if i'd ever have a reason for it but if i can only hold five and i will eventually get more than them might as well what else we got here something within range a quiet day calm ivanovich down calm him down double the rewards if you do the ley line oh sweet double the rewards are good that might be really good for like uh, actually i'd say it'd be supremely good for like boss things and whatnot like, um, I think I gotta fight some Regis Fines and whatnot. It'd be cool to get double the ability so I don't have to fight them all over again. Like, I think 
for Chongyun. I'm pretty sure I need to beat a Cryo Regifine, so that might be pretty useful for that. Sweet. Thanks for the tidbit. Mostly for the domains and artifact farming, too. Uh, that's also a really good point as well. I guess the domains are pretty good for that. Because they give quite a few on, other, and on their own, and if they double it, then that's even better. Hmm, maybe I should think of some other way. How you doing, Ivanovich? Me? Uh, you must be talking about the recent events here in Liwei Harbor. Well, I've no opinion on the matter. Really? That said, the people who have been supplying me with Schneznayan goods and who occasionally buy core lapis from me are very, very unnerved. I've told them that there should be no problem here in Liwei, but they said that they'd only know to be back in a few months and that they'll wait and see how things play out for now. And fortunately, I'd already brought in several new batches of goods so I can last for quite a while. I'm also taking the opportunity to stock up with some core lapis and I, I still need the man the store here. So could you help me and ask Miss Bolai if he has, Mr. Bolai, if he has any core lapis that I could take off of his hands? Sure, dude. Oh, thank you. Sure, buddy, buddy Ivanovich. Where are you? Oh, you're down below. Yeah, I see. You don't want to climb all the way down there and climb back up. I totally get it. Allow me, a citizen, to do this for you. Hello, Mr. Bolai. You, are you sure this is really the time to talk business with me? It's about Ivanovich, dude. Calm down. Oh, you mean that outlander who does business near the mouth of the harbor? He still wants my core lapis? Pfft, sure. I'm not one to look at a gift horse in the mouth. I just so happen to have a batch of core lapis with me. I'd originally prepared it for another customer, but uh, they declined for now, saying that leeway hasn't been safe as of late. So if that fellow wants to buy them, then I'm happy to sell them. Go tell him that. I'll stay here and prepare the goods first. Alrighty then. I feel I, I feel like this would be a good point to like just shout out to the top like, Hey, Ivanovich! He'll take it! Oh dear. Falling into the water. I've fallen and I cannot get up. I can barely even swim. It's me, Pirate Girl, coming up from the depths of the ocean. Yes, I can climb walls, can't you? Hey, Ivanovich. So, what was Mr. Bolai's response? He said he'll do it. Ah, oh, that's great then. He's a businessman I can trust. When my less stout-hearted merchant comrades return to Leeway Harbor, it'll be time to make a killing. Alright. Uh, now I gotta call him Atsuko. Atsuko, 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 Atsuko. Oh, there's another quest up here somewhere. Oh, nice. Well, I'll go accept that. Might as well. Might as well accept all the quests so I can work on them later. At my leisure. Oh, no. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, I guess I'll take the stairs. I'll take the stairs like the plebeians. The crowd. Do, 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 do. Oh, no. You are on the other side. Let's climb up here. Classic UL the dishes. Here! Oh boy. Yummy. Jump, dear children! Jump! Uh, is it below me? It is above me. Aha. Gotta go up the stairs. Gotta go up the stairs. Oh, am I talking to you again? There's no way. Nah, no, no, no. There's no way. There must be somebody else. Hi, Clerk Zhao. There we go. Another clerk at the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I can't stand it. My work with the Ministry of Civil Affairs has really been piling up recently. Right now, I'm assigning them to people. I just finished organizing forms that I need various people to fill out, but I don't have any time to distribute them. I'll do it for you. You do that? Great. Well, it's really not complicated. Uh, everything I need is written very clearly on these forms, so here you go. Just take them the forms and they'll see what they need to do. The two most urgent jobs are those for Zhang Zhou and Nervous Anne. Take these forms to them, please. Come back here and let me know once you've delivered the forms. Okay. Talk to Clerk Zhao. Give the inverse to Nervous Anne, who's down below. Nervous, Nervous Anne. Nervous, Nervous Anne. Why are you so nervous all the time? Probably because Li Wei is in shambles. Or something like that, you know? The Geo Archon's just been killed. Oh boy, now I'm in trouble. Clerk Zhao told me to give you this to you. Oh, she needs a report of all he, the little ships and stuff. This is actually... I had to start to keep a track of this at the very end, but then there was also the uh, goods reports, the reports on crew information, and the customs report, and there's just so much to keep track of. Report this, record that. I simply can't keep up with it all. Friendship. Friendship? Cool. Uh... Just do the report that he wants. I don't even have the time to remember all the information I do report, let alone fill it out. But there's no time. Oh, just. I can help out. I'll help you. 
Thanks, Rutherford. but if you aren't familiar with the work, you won't be much help. Uh, prioritize your work better next time? Huh, I always tell myself that. I should, but I just get so busy that I forget to prioritize. Huh, there's just too much work to do. Too much at all. Huh, I thought about it, but there's just not enough time. I have to work even harder. I'll burn the mid oil tonight and tomorrow and the day after that. See if I can finish recording on the ships in the harbor. After all, this was the very first report I started working on, so it shouldn't be the last one to submit. Huh. Alrighty then, now I'll give the invoice to you. Over here, over there, over here, over there, that's the person. Anyway. Hello, you. Zhang Zhou. Zhang Zhou. Quick Zhao. 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 Told me to give this to you. No, that's not quite right either. About the plans for the Lantern Light. I'm writing that right now. Uh, but it feels like it's missing something, so I keep editing it. Everybody needs to do their best for a big festival like the Lantern, right? So I, can, I can't submit this plan just yet. Um, well, you know, it'll never be perfect. Well, that may be true, but I should, I should strive for perfection, no? I know. And, and you, you can submit it first and then change more later. Are you joking? Lantern Rice is a serious festival. They are procedures. Well, uh, be, be confident in yourself. You got this. What good is confidence if the people of Liwa don't like it? I have to give it my all for the Lancer, right? Think, Z uh, Zhang Zhou, think. No, the people of Liwei have been er eagerly looking forward to Lancer, right? Nobody will be satisfied if it's just a touched-up version of last year's plan. Don't try to stop me. I still need to make changes and need to make the perfect plan. All right. I'll report back to you. I guess if I were a little bit more of a smooth talker, things would have gone a little bit better for you. But alas, uh, whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Hopefully that makes Zhao feel at least a little bit okay about it. Like, ah, at least you tried. Thanks for at least trying for me. You got this. Oh, lower. It's lower now. Wait, what? Oh, where are you? Where are you, Zhao? Are you... Oh, you're right over here. All right. Cool. hey -o. Oh, you're back. Nervous Anne and Xiang Zhou just sent a message. Only one of them promised they would submit their work on time, but I guess one is better than none. As for the other one, I'll just continue to press them. Regardless, I'm grateful for your help. Take these as thanks. What are you sitting on? You are not... Man, you have hella corn, uh, core strength, dude. Regardless, I'm grateful for your help. Take these as thanks. You're welcome. What I get, what I get, what I get. Ooh, food. And now, quiet down. I must calm down, Atsuko. Right now. And then after this quest, I think I'll make my sandwich for the day. I'll make my sandwich. I think I'll do that. Actually, you know what? Instead of what I'll do, is instead of breaking for a sandwich, I'm just gonna... I'll, I'll stop it after this. Because I am planning on streaming again later on tonight with something completely different. And I kind of need to change up my setup a bit. I gotta do some uh, finagling around with things. And I'll enjoy my nice sandwich over and talk about that. Yinger. Yinger scares me. She's the smell lady. But I'll do that. Let's go down here, go down here, go down here, and over here. Bam. Atsuko, where are you? You're way down here. I don't think I've ever been down here before. Hmm. Hello, you, Atsuko. Oh, goodness, I jumped. What am I to do? Good fortune. I mean, hello. Is that right? I'm still not familiar with the local greetings. Uh, Liwe really is completely different from Inazuma. You're from Inazuma? Yeah, I, I experienced quite a number of trials in the process of coming here. Well, I mean, I'd always wanted to see the world, but the atmosphere in my homeland is, how should I say, tense? Dangerous? Even trying to leave Inazuma's borders is fraught with difficulty, never mind attempting to travel the world. A normal person would never even make it past the many assessments that the Kanjobogyo conduct. So I made my own raft, and I sneaked over here to Liwe. I originally intended to find work here at the wharf as a sailor, but I no idea where to even begin looking for that job and also something must have happened in Liwe because everything's gotten very tense all of a sudden you know what was it that you'd like to do i'd like to be a sailor of course but i don't think i can start out as one i'd be quite satisfied as long as i can get work don't underestimate me now but back in my hometown i would always help out with at my family's store i'm very good at delivering goods you want to help me find work thank you that would be lovely uh, there are such fine people in Liwe. Uh, yes, I think I did make some preparations for finding work earlier by asking around. Those people said that if I wanted to find uh, 
reliable work I could go and find. Let me see. I'm sure I wrote it down here. Ah, there it is. Um, so I can look for Manager Quan, Clerk Zhao, and Nervous Anne. Uh, but though I wrote it down, I'm not very familiar with the way in which these local interact. So I haven't dared ask them. A little shy. If you're willing to help me out, please ask me. Uh, help me ask them. Hopefully, one might be able to will willing to hire me. Yeah. Thanks so much. You're welcome so much. Now I gotta run around and talk to people again. Um, let's do it. Running around in leeway. Trying to find the people. Climbing my way up walls to make sure I get what Atsiko needs. Cha -cha -cha. Let's see, where are you? You're on the bottom. Nervous Anne is just hanging over here on the dock seat. Saying she's hanging down here. Oh, there's one over there, too. Uh, I'll grab that when I get back because I apparently missed you Grab them on my way back, but first I'll talk to nervous Anne Who's nervous about things? Hi there. You're back. How have things gone? Did you know about Atsuke? I believe you're referring to that lady from Inazuma who's been asking around about work. I remember her Unfortunately, I don't think I have have any work suited for her, as you've seen before. My data and forms all require uh, more experienced hands. Even if the Ministry of Civil Affairs were to transfer clerks over to us, they would still need some training to be able to do that job well. They'd just drag us down otherwise. It's especially difficult to look for fresh hires at a time like this, so I apologize, but I don't have work for that young lady right now. Hmm. Manager Kwong. We'll talk to you. Maybe you have some... Uh... Adventures, good things for our uh, our dear Atsuko. Huh. Hey, Bigfoot and Die Show. I need to talk to your friend over here. This one doesn't tally. Neither does this one, and this one's requested an extension. Oh, jeez. Do I really have to go through and chase them myself before these forms will be completed? Yo, what's happening? Not much. It's just the whole stack of forms that. Don't have anyone take charge of them right now. If I don't slap them down on some tables myself, everyone's just gonna ask for extensions. There are no so there are so many other things I need to do right now. What with the situation anyway and all, how am I supposed to take the time out to rush these people? Maybe you should hire another employee. The Ministry of Civil Affairs can't spare any people either, so those forms just keep stacking up and turning into an eyesore. Does chasing forms need any special skills? Special skills? Uh, no, not really. I've already written the details of the request and their deadlines down. I just, I just need someone to get those forms in front of the appropriate people. If the forms arrive and those people still don't want to settle them or ask for delays and thus cause our work not to be completed on time, then, well, they can explain themselves to the Ministries of Affairs later. So do you want to help or do you know somebody who can? I know a guy. I know a guy. I know a person. That's great. Get them to come here and report to me. The quicker these are all settled, the better. Can do, can do. Quiet day in Atsuko. Quiet day in Liwa Harbor. Your life won't be so quiet. But you're working for her. That's what it seems like. She seems like a little bit of a... Maybe a workaholic, perhaps? Maybe you're into that, though, Atsuko. Good for you. I can get a little bit workaholic-y. Honestly, what winds up happening is I, I work on something and I get hyper-focused on it. And then hours pass and I'm still working on it. And I have to tell myself, oh, you should probably take a break. The breaks are all a part of the process. Relaxation is all a part of the process. If you haven't blocked out some relaxation time in your work schedule, I encourage you to, to do. I think it uh, might do you some good. So how do they respond? Clerk Zalgod's work for you. That's great. What is it specifically? Chasing forms? I've never heard of such work. Leeway really is a completely different place from Inazuma. But I'll give it my all. Regardless of what the work is. Thank you so much. I'll make some preparations first and then I'll report for work. Well, with this, I can finally take the step towards carving out a new life for myself. Yes, you can! Now I'm going to talk back to Nervous Anne. Yes, gonna run around good. What do I talk about, like, about houses? Well, I gotta talk to the Adventurer's Guild after I talk to this guy to complete all my quests and stuff. So, uh, actually, this isn't even a purple quest. Did I do all the daily quests already? Oh, I'm confused. Did I? Yeah, I did. Okay, well. Take care of this quest first. And then I'll come back to the Adventure Guild, tell them that I did all my quests, get that 
sweet sweet adventure rank experience up maybe level up that'd be pretty cool here you go nervous and how have things gone have you finished settling matters yeah thank you now leave the rest to me apart from our work with the outlanders of the ministry of civil affairs it's also calming the local populace even as we speak I do not know how much good we're doing, but I say that in such times, we should all do what we can. Take this as thanks for your work. You're also a guest from afar, but your timing was truly unfortunate. I can only hope that this will all blow over soon. What to get, what to get, what to get, what to get, what to get? Food? Books. Nice. Now let's head back up over here. And then we'll see, I'll talk to the Adventurer's Guild to get that experience. And try to see if anybody can tell me anything about housing. I want to learn more about housing. Uh, not you. Uh, adventurer's Guild. That's a crafting terminal. I don't need to craft right now. I require the Adventurer's Guild. Let's take a look at the map. Where be the Adventurer's Guild? There you are. If I turn left over here, I'll find them. Hey-o! There you are, way up there. Way up, way up, way up to the moon. Astra Astra. Welcome, to, Welcome the to the Adventure Skill. Very cool, thank you. Data commissions. Thanks for completing the day's commissions. Here's your reward. Yes! Not that I went up another level or anything, but it was cool. See, crafty crap down there. I wonder, who I talk about the... You know what, let's take a look at the notices. Um, update summary. Um, what about this one? Is she an invitation? Yeah, we saw that. Uh, update summary. Houses. These are known issues. What about the issue there? There. Tell me about the houses. Compensation. Eligibility. Rank five or above. Cool. Update schedule. Update compliant. Update details. New system. The reset. Reset. The serenity pot. Adepta use that as media through which they can channel their Adepta powers. You may decorate it however you wish and turn it into a home away from home. Ah. Interact with them. Enter the abode within. That's the house. You can also use it in some of the pot. Spirit lives inside there. That's pretty cool. So how do I get that, though? Creating a good retainer materials created by many different ways. Realm Depot. Realm Currency in the Serenity Pot in exchange for items. New characters. We've got new characters and stuff. More new characters, new equipment, broken pines, and artifacts, pale flames, new domain. That's cool. New monsters. Oh, goodness. I guess I'll have to figure out how to do that teapot. Maybe the teapot. Maybe teapot girl. She is here. Oh, well, until then. I'll maybe I'll do some searching on my own to get to that next time. In the meantime, I'm going to stop things for now because I will be preparing for a stream later on today at 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. That's about... Eight hours from now, it's going to be a late one. If you're into cocktails, if you're into mixology in general, I encourage you to show up if you'd like to. You don't have to, obviously, but I think it'd be pretty cool if you pop on in. Maybe you'll see something you like. New recipes. I'm picking up a bunch of mixers today as well, so they won't just be alcoholic cocktails as well. They will be just regular drinks that you can make if you're under the age of 21. We're all inclusive around here. So if you want to, uh, I hope you may enjoy it. In the meantime, let's see if there's anybody to go raiding right now. I don't know if Neko started yet, but if she did, then uh, I'd love to pop a raid in her direction. Yes! She is playing Devour. So that's what we're going to go with next. Support in the community as a whole. So everybody raiding? Thanks. Thanks for popping along. I hope, uh, I hope it's enjoyable for everybody involved. And everybody sticking around for the vibe. You know the deal. Thanks everybody so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful evening, day, whatever time of the day. I hope you have a lovely 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and 12 o'clock. Again, double in case that's the time of where you were right now. And if not, I hope when it gets to that point that you have a wonderful rest of whatever it is that you got. So long, everybody. Bye.